FM. From the top of Wologisi to the beaches of Maryland, we cover Liberia like nobody else does. This is Spoon 107.5 FM. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A special one from the CEO Stan Tony with the spoon. And your boy, Friday the South. Spoon, 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 Spoon gonna tell you what is happening in Africa. Africa. Just to toss spoon, oh, to toss spoon, you ain't no. Did the children cry for starvation? Just to toss spoon. You want to get a news update, my brother? To toss spoon. You want to know what is happening in Morocco? To toss spoon. Politicians want to make their decision just to to spoon. You want to know what happened in the ministry to to spoon. Yeah, 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 to to spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah to to spoon. You from Vonjema, Maryland, to to spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tuto spoon. If you eat keep on regular, my brother, Tuto spoon. You got a spoon TV, you got a spoon radio, Tuto spoon. Yeah, 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 Tuto spoon. You want to get a news update, Tuto spoon. Wap, wap, yeah, Rastafara. Kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba. Kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba. What I want? Yes, I do. But I do. Yes, I do. But I do. Yes, 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 I Politicians want to make their decision just to do spoon. 
You want to know what happened in the ministry to the small? Yeah, 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 to the small. Yeah, 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 to the small. You from Fonjema, Maryland, to the small. Yeah, 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 to the small. If you eat kept on gradually, my brother to the spoon. You got a spoon TV, you got a spoon radio to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. You want to get a nose out there, to the spoon. Wah, 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 yeah, Rastafara. Kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba. What I want? Yes, my new battery. 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 Yes, 
From the CEO stand down with the spoon. And your boy right in the south and man. Charges on the beat. Spoon to be part of our discussion. Spoon, 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 Spoon when I tell you what is happening in Africa. Africa. Just two to spoon, oh, two to spoon, you ain't no. If the children cry for starvation, just two to spoon. You want to get a news update, my brother, two to spoon. You want to know what is happening in Morocco, two to spoon. Politicians want to make their decision just to to spoon. You want to know what happened in the ministry to to spoon. Yeah, 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 to to spoon. Yeah, 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 to to spoon. You from Vonjema, Maryland, to to spoon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, two to spoon. If you ain't kept on regular, my brother, two to spoon. You got a spoon TV, you got a spoon radio, two to spoon. Yeah, 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 two to spoon. You want to get a news update, two to spoon. What, what? Yeah, Rastafara. Kitty Bamba, Kitty Bamba, Kitty Bamba. Kili bam bam, kili bam bam, kili bam bam. Watch out, go on. This one you bought today, oh. Yeah, 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 two to spoon. 
Et puis il ne peut pas reculer, ma brother, tout au school. You got the spoon TV, you got the spoon radio, tout au school. Yeah, 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 tout au school. You want to get a news update, tout au school. Wap, yeah, Rastafara. Kili baba, kili baba, kili baba. Kili baba, kili baba, kili baba. Watch out, go on. Yes, man, you got to live. Yes, man, you got to live. On this day, April 6, 1996, that is 27 years ago, on this day, Liberia, again, the city of Monrovia, woke up to the sounds of different types of guns firing. You know, I remember as a kid, I remember that day vividly, you know, that day was a school day. Yeah, it was a school day. And I had taken my bath and everything. The next thing, yeah. all hell broke loose. And when you hear people talking about the establishment of a war and economics crimes court, and why should there be you know, a precedence set? Why should people be able to answer questions and if found guilty, you know, if found guilty, they be sentenced. A lot has happened in this country. And people will always tell you, look at things from the political side. Look at things not just from the social justice angle, but look at it from the political angle. What is it going to destabilize? What are you going to achieve? You know, um, what is the social economic benefits of having a war and economics crime squad? In fact, I have a term paper on that particular topic, the social and economic benefits, the peace and war benefits, and so many other things associated with establishing a war and economics crime squad in our country. But if you sit with those who have been directly affected, we all have been affected. What are Liberians that were born during that time, Liberians who were alive during that time, Liberians who were born after that time, the reason our country is like this is because of events like April 6 and everything that preceded April 6. The reason we are still celebrating that Cote d'Ivoire has decided to give us 25 megawatts of power additional to the 25 megawatts that they were providing to us after President Boyka had visited Cote d'Ivoire and spoke with President Ouattara and now they've give, they are going to give us 50 megawatts of power but with a time span from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., 50 megawatts will be supplied from 6 a.m. in a day to 6 p.m., 25 megawatts. The reason some of us didn't know toys, you know, and we played with bullet shell casings all around. We played in old vehicles because people made choices. And those choices, they've affected us. And there will always be a divide in this country on whether or not there should be the establishment of a war and economics crime squad. There will always be a divide. Because to one group of people, someone is a villain. To another group of people, that person is a hero. So it's, 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 it's just a continuous circle. And if that circle, if that chain is not broken, Tell me you, where are we? Someone said Liberians are good at not complying, non-compliance. But you said to Liberians, many of whom were alive during the presidency of former President Charles Taylor, 
they will tell you, oh, we miss Gangi. <laughs> yeah. We miss Gangi. The reason we miss Gangi when the man said this. Yeah, it can happen. We always want to be treated with iron fists and iron hands. And that tells you that we as a people, we still have got a lot of scrutiny to do, to scrutiny us, to scrutiny us. Somebody will park their car in the middle of the road and lecture with their friend for almost 20 minutes, not caring whether others are behind them and they want to use the road. No. It's these days that, that you know who I am, who are you, who I am, is kind of fading away, small, small, gradually, gradually. But that was the thing. You know who I am? You know me? Yeah. Who are you? You know who I am? It's fading away. If you were to abide by the law, you wouldn't have to ask somebody you know who I am. No, you wouldn't have to. Because everybody will respect the laws. We open the phone lines. I see Mr. Dwalo in the background. It's not a good day in our country's history. According to records, between 1,000 to 3,000 Liberians lost their lives during the April 6th gun battle. And according to records, 250,000 Liberians, it could be more, lost their lives during the period of our civil crisis. But we lost more than people, which is the highest price to be paid. Look at our country. Every time we're on Facebook, we're laughing at our students, especially after they've written the national exams. Or when people graduating and they make comments and post on Facebook, we start laughing. That's the rot in our country. That's the rot. That's how bad it is. That's affected every fabric of our society. I saw a site this morning and I laughed. People will gather at government officials' residences all around in the morning. Chapaco. So I see your car coming outside, running there. Oh, 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 oh. Because, again, this is where we found ourselves. The level I wish. You have to go sit down to one man door in the morning when you come outside and look at your. And my man open the baggy, let me pass there and go. No people are not coming again. No sort of empowerment. So everybody now running to where the few they can get 10 or 15 dollars. Where are we? On this day, as we reminisce, we pay tribute to those who lost their lives. Whether directly impacted or indirectly, families have never been able to come to grips with their loss. You know, I remember that program they used to have. They would say, Ansu Dwalu, age five, last seen wearing green shirt, blue trousers, healing from SYZ town. That's where he was found. If you know Ansu Dwalu or anybody who's related to Ansu Dwalu, he's currently at this displaced camp. Then they'll put the pictures all on the board. People will go be looking there to find their loved ones and relatives. Up to today, some have never been found. A good portion. When you sit and you ask yourself this question, what is the benefit economically, socially, politically associated with giving people the desire redress that they need, the closure that they need in seeing people being brought to justice, in seeing people having their day in court. What are those benefits? If you can answer that question, whether you're a representative, a senator, a president, a vice president, an ordinary Liberian, if you can put the answers together, then you know where we headed as a country. Mr. Dalu. Good afternoon to you. Glad you okay. Um, How are you doing, I, I read again this morning. I was just reading that there was a 3.8 magnitude earthquake yeah. that struck the New York region. 
including yeah. New Jersey area. Yeah. An aftershock of 3.8 magnitude again, uh, according to your American news networks. You know, the aftershocks are expected during the course of. And we're praying and hoping that everybody is okay. You know, yeah. Yeah. everybody is okay. How are you, sir? Not too bad. My sister, Orita Mumbo, how you doing? But Dharma, I'm going to go back to something you said. Um, we, we, the country needs more straightening up. And, and I want to address that very briefly. But, you know, when you were just talking about the war days where they were reading names, I remember we used to say before CNN and we, we were watching the news in Liberia, how things were going, they were very horrible. But I want to say something to you. Um, our leaders care too much about re-election more than they care about leading. It's been a lot for time in memoriam. I was just sitting here, and I remember there was a Chinese philosopher. His name was Lao Tzu. He was the founder of Taoism. Uh, it's a Chinese philosophy. He said, this is what he said. He said, if you care more about what people think about you, you will become their prisoner. This is what Liberia has become. Our leaders care so much more about re-election to the entire country has become a prisoner. Look, the people that we love around the globe, that we that we sing homage to, see, they were great leaders from Churchill to Lee Kuan Yew to the great leaders from South Korea. These people, they were brutal in their approach when they were developing a terrible country. And I'm not saying unconstitutional brutality. I'm talking about lawful constitutional brutality. For Liberia to change, my people, we will say this, and I will continue to say this without any hesitation of any kind. The issue of law enforcement, the aggression of the law must be so forceful. Look, there you cannot develop a highly illiterate population through timidity or passivity. A calculated degree of force must be introduced. This is my me saying it. This is history. Liberians will not follow the law because of this big man thing. And we, we want to develop country, but our big people just flung the law. We go, you know, somebody posted something today. A man without money is a Zogo. And I posted on their post and said, what's about a man with student public funds? You saw that post from the lady, eh? Yeah. And, 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 I, and I posted on there and said, what's about a man with stolen public funds? What is he? If you're calling our brother Zogo, do you realize the reason why they are being zogo fired or zogo rise is because the stolen funds from the public has been removed by people that we deify, we go to their homes, we run to them, call them chi. How you doing chi? Where you get for your picking or chi? They are causing the zogorization of the society. And nobody wants to talk about it. Look, Liberia has to develop aggressively. This is why, one of the reasons why I, I, I really support the Honorable Bwaka because he has nothing to lose. You don't want a second term. He has a great opportunity, a golden opportunity to truly set this country right, considering that he doesn't want to get reelected. He himself said this. He want one term. Go ahead. Go ahead. And really set this country right to the law and order, to the doing the people's bidding without any hesitation, favor of patronage of any kind. Just enforce the law without hesitation. This country will start to develop. And I will close this and give this to you so the people can call in. The Lee Kuan Yew that turned Singapore from the 1940s, 1950s, and 1960 that was worse off than Liberia in the 1940s, Singapore GDP, that were the per capita income was less than $400 per annum. It is above $65,000 United States dollars today, even higher than the United States. This is what he said. He, he said, and he was very, he was a brutal man. People don't know him. He said, listen. If it costs me to kill a thousand students that are standing in the way of progress, so Singapore can no longer go to an era of shame and disgrace, so be it. So be it. Development costs something. And we are not willing to pay the price for development. Let me be clear. I'm not suggesting the murder of anybody, but I'm suggesting the enforcement of the law without hesitation of any kind. And if that enforcement captures a hundred ministers that go to jail or they get executed because they're killing the people, so be it. So be it. Liberia will not develop with timidity, my people. We are highly illiterate population. Look across the globe from China with the Mao Zedongs. I'm not advocating for what he's done. Look to Stalin in Russia. Look to most of the Southeastern Asian region. Look to even these United States. A calculated degrees of legal force must be introduced for this country to develop. If y'all want to say, hey, man, you're just leading, man. You know, Dhamma, all of us grew up together. The only man won our see will be in this rot. For a long time. Once again, man, you're welcome to the show. 
Thank you, Mr. Dwalu. Uh, thank you once again to all of our folks. You're welcome. This is the Spoon Talk, 27 years down the line, April 6, 1996. Uh, we're talking about how far we've come as a nation, what needs to be done, what aren't we doing, you know, to make sure that Liberia can at least steadily progress, you know, from where we are uh, to, to, to another level. Uh, this afternoon, you know, I was just browsing on my phone and then I came across the junior high school that I attended, you know, the Datus Complex schools. And uh, I saw the, 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 the changes. You know the changes and it brought something to my mind i remember being out of liberia for close to 11 12 13 years and coming back i didn't know the pinsville belt because i wasn't frequenting around pinsville but once we got around the congo town belt and i told the driver i said but if you put me now i can walk and go straight home that's 11 12 13 years after yeah i take into consideration we had civil crisis and there wasn't so much development but as compared to what we see, Dwalu, you know, investors need security. Yeah. Investors need the rule of law. And people always mistake investors to be foreigners. Once they say this man is an investor, he should be a foreigner. There are Liberians who want to invest. They are investors. Are they going to come to the country and they know that the judicial system is not going to protect them, is going to look after the man who, who's got connections, who's got, the, who's got the, the, the people in his pocket and who knows the right buttons to press? They wouldn't want to come here. There, there are people who decided that, look, I knocked my slipper like this. i uh, coming to that library. They got money. They want to invest. So what are we doing to improve that? We're talking about the tourism sector. We need to invest in the tourism sector. <laughs> Tourists need security. <laughs> of course. <laughs> To come to a country and enjoy and enjoy the tourist the tourist the tourist sites and stuff like that you need security you need to be assured that look the law the law enforcement works in that country let, let, Dumbo, let me share a quick story i was just in zanzibar an entire island in fact the airport is 10 times better than what we have at RIA. they're building new ports they're building new hospitals because there's an influx of tourists they're building new highways to cater to the tourists Tourists need modernized facility. If somebody is coming from Denmark, they're not used to what's happening in Grand Basel County. They're not going to come and say, oh, that plane, when you go there, you're going to get sick. Tourists need a lot of stuff. So we even when we we we're talking about tourists, I said, you take that one from there. We're not even ready for tourists. We're not even 10% to, 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 to provide the kind of hotels that tourists need. When you're talking, they say, oh, the men will and know everything. Pick up a book. Don't take my word for it. You have the internet. Just Google for a second and try to read something. The information is out there. If we do not develop internally, we are not going to get a stir of people to come into the country and try to pour more money into Liberia. My people, the thing about development is not a joking matter. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. Tell me, let me show I just published a paper yesterday. It probably be carried by Data Observer front page from today. It's on TLC right now. Anybody can check it out. And the title of the paper is... Um, President Baca must develop a vibrant private sector, but he stands to fail, or he would not be successful. I think I forgot the title, but you can Google it. President Baca must develop a vibrant private sector, or he will not succeed. That's the title of the paper. Check it out. You can read it. It'll probably be on, on Monday on front page and all over the place. Yes, what the Japanese did. Look, the government needs resources. I read an article, actually the publication on front page yesterday, and uh, the LR is saying they are pushing the budget, they're going to raise the budget to about a billion dollars. They believe they can raise a billion dollar budget. In 2024, this is a good thing. We all celebrate a billion dollars, but they're not putting the money down, my people. For this kind of population we have, our budget should be nothing less than $4 billion right now, as we're speaking. But we have to develop a private infrastructure that can support the kind of budget allocation we're talking about. The, the extractive industry, the resources from the extractive industry is dwindling and getting smaller and smaller and smaller. That means our budget being that is reliant on iron ore and gold and diamond, and our sector is getting smaller and smaller, that means we are not going to develop. We have to look elsewhere in order to balloon the national budget. We have to think outside the box. We have to find our best and brightest minds and let it come to work. Let them think about solutions that are practical about developing their society. We don't want to do it. I mean, I try the man to go my job. The papa says he's seven year old. He will get up. The papa can go pee pee twice at night. That means he cannot get up before 10 o'clock. 
You need, you need young men and women in the field to move this. Oh God. Look, Liberia, we 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 the, if the men don't go to work and the women don't go to work, we will be like a fairy in a fairy's wheel. Let me explain what you mean. You take one ride, you put in some kind of wheel, but the wheel you're going at it. But the ride you're going out it, 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 it get motion, but no motion going anywhere. You're going. It's about being running all the time, but you're in the same spot. The hell of brown looking. We are fairy in the fairy's wheel. We are gonna go nowhere. We just be turning around, turning around, turning around. When we get tired, we fall and we die. We get fired all the gray eye more real full. Then I mean talking, can go around the gray eye? Tell me, can you attest to that? Young people, Peloton gray eye is full. If you go to Dupa Road, the gray eye is full. If you go on the Oro Bapa and uh, 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 when they get out church behind, I hope that play full. Center Street is full. All the gray eye more real full. We young people, young people, our British minds. The true resources of the country are, are dying. How are we supposed to develop? I don't know what we are thinking. If we don't do something, we take people, we put them in the legislature. <laughs> the many, they didn't produce nothing in the lead before. We put them in the legislature. What are you going to expect from them? Election is not a child's play thing. People have to produce in their own private lives before. He said, oh, the man has set himself apart. He developed the Pankana industry. Where the Pankana industry get 13 people working over the last five years. They may own their own car. They may not develop something for him and his family. They may get a brain that willing to bring that brain into the era. But they can say, but they may what we all are going to be on the scene too. Yeah, maybe they represent it too. I mean, you may buy your own beer. You may be you may be your own You will go to Paris, you go get married from there for You will go and pay your own whore. Then he dances that voice says, yeah, feeling nothing he not do because he knows nothing. Graduating from a university is not a qualifier for you to occupy a ministerial post, gentlemen. It requires extensive work of experience. Management is not something somebody can get together and do. Yeah, you just try the men too. The men went to college and get a master's degree. Master's degree that wedding. So you just get a man's going to head of a job. Do you know what it takes? When we talk here, say, but I don't know I know more. My job here is to talk it. It's to talk it. I will tell you where what Rumi said. Rumi, he was a, he was an Arabic philosopher from the seventh century, I believe. He said this: If my hesitation to speak truth to my people allow me to go to the grave with that, I have burdened my country because I refuse to tell them what is truthful and what could try to actually transform that society. That would not be my burden. My burden would be released on Liberia. Let Liberia fully understand what Dualu stood. That I wanted this country to transform. I brought the information. You can call me Kui. You can call me Mr. Dwalu speaking series. You can say, oh, Dwalu living in America. Why are you saying this? My job is to speak my truth. And if my truth offends you, <laughs> that one I have been ill, but I'm not of low my truth. That one, yeah, what people call that. Th thank you, Mr. Dwalu. So, indeed, that's what we'll do. We'll go to the phone lines for you to tell us what's on your minds. Don't bring us now and on top of the table business here. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, so uh, before we do that, I do see the former CEO, Mr. Stanton Alexander Witherspoon, is in the back. He's going to come out in a minute or two. Uh, but let's go to the phone lines quickly and take a few calls. 0 triple seven 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 one zero seven five zero triple five one zero one zero seven five a minute and tell us what's on your mind. Hello. Hmm. Hello. and Mr. Good evening. This is Evangelist it's Joseph Jar. I phone from Duboro. You're welcome. Go ahead, please. Hello? Yeah, you're live. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Dwalu said, oh, I mean, this country, that's why you are saying nice thing. I mean, this country, I think, go first. Maybe we will destroy the whole country or judgment day before this country. Maybe the high thing I uh, feel because this country, I think, we need a, a, a I call it wisdom visionary dictator with i repeat wisdom you got the bible says in proverbs chapter verse one we cry and the bible says in proverbs chapter is verse 15 say i wisdom i make the king to rule well and i make the princess make sound judgment so okay. you know wisdom visionary dictator leader like that's just what that word was saying if you don't have drafting law if somebody who is so sympathetic so loving, so kind. All right, so we have to I mean, take orders, please. I can look back. 
Ah. 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 You found people who get the prayer, my prayer, they put sanction, respect them, protect them, we say, yeah, we celebrate them. Until oh, sir. Not go nowhere. The real Bible history all through, all through. Okay. Okay, so the evangelist and sorry, I have to do that. I have to take orders. I'm sorry. Hello? Yeah. Let's hear you out, please. Yeah, my name is Tenten, and I'll call you so annoyed. You're welcome. Go ahead. One minute, please. Okay, so you said that South Diamond, and you and Dalu have shared a lot the library, and you guys continue to see more every day. But uh, the thing is, our mindset is one thing that quite embarrasses us mm. as Liberian. And we are like seeking opportunity every day. That's why you say usually people will gather to lawmaker house in the morning. They may bury to go outside using the bike. That is true. They use the bike and go out because they are quite embarrassed. We empower them, they become embarrassed. And then you talk about it April 6, 1996. Yeah, but, but do in remembrance of this day. These day, people don't even educate their children how it was. People make it out of fun. April 6 coming, April 6 coming. So, for us to really move forward as a nation, our mindset needs to change. Okay, sir. For us to encourage tourists, right? You talk about that. We need to have a stable uh, We need to have a good uh, All right, Chief. Um, I have to leave you right there. At least, thank you. Let's take orders, please. All right, let's take this person here. Hello? Hello? Zero triple seven double seven one zero seven five zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. Hello. Good evening. Yes, here you are, please. One minute. Yes, uh, uh, twenty you from five forty. What time? My name is Kanwadi P. Mhm. The one I'm on is we are just looking back. Wall. We are just looking beyond. Or it's still all looking ahead. Mhm. Yeah. You said that the discussion on that platform can be you know, just focus on George We are. Eh, 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 we should be fo focusing on, 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 on our border now. Because there are some things that are happening in our border government now. We need to be giving some advice to him. We need to be talking to him. There are slash slash mistakes going on there. Mm. And you even see the situation on the high, high road there. So things are now, they are being added, added up now with prices now being increasing small, 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 small. Those are things which we're looking at. We should be looking at John Ria for what he wants to ever, for how he deals with us. And I said, don't get evidence on John Ria. Tomorrow we're going to put a, 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 a test to it. All right, sir. So now we're looking ahead. You hear me, brother? All right, I chief. I'm talking to Omer Bagai to do some things in the country because he is the most experienced Omer. Thank you, sir. Okay, so. Boom, brother. What's up, chief? Okay, so we we'll take this person here. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Let's hear you out, please. Yeah, my name is Anthony Nyoku. I come from Waco community. You welcome. Go ahead. Yeah. What my mind has to do with this? Same money and rap question in Liberia. Mm. These Jamaican boys and girls just come all over our country, money soon, and selling the exotic thing to us. And they are not the one even trust people who will pay for it. How will they sell one uh, a low of, of, of yellow machine bottle to you for uh, $30? And President Baka said we should love and build Liberia. And we buy the same to move bricks and build houses. Buy the same to, 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 to build our houses. And this guy are not exporting the same but selling it to us and sell it the rack is all over our country. The, the question is selling me a subject to the president. Black has look in the direction of all us. Okay, sir. In the way that these people are money, they will come on a serious rack for us as citizens. All right, sir. Very, very serious. Thank you. Dr. Richardson, good evening to you, ma'am. Diamond, how are you doing? Uh, oh. Hello. Denton. How's everybody? We're good, Doc. Stance is a little dizzy from the quake, so he can't talk yet. I'm fine. I can talk. You know? okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Dr. Richardson, how are you doing? I'm tired, but uh, doing pretty good. I had an eventful day today. I was so up. 
in Guyana. Where? What's going on? You met George oh, Weah? No, I did not meet George Weah. You met Nathaniel Magill? Unfortunately, he didn't come to the uh, opening of the jetty rubber plant. I wish he was there. Oh, you went there? Yeah, it was. It is in the video to that. Dama, you got video? I have lots of video. I put some in the chat room. I'm going to put it again. Uh, if you check the chat room, I was, I was updating. No, do you upload it? Jetty, yeah, Jetty. Sure. Where, where, where are you, Mama, with Jetty? <laughs> uh, I got to hear an earful today. I wanted to see for myself and hear for but myself. Before we talk about that story, man, before we talk about that story, can you, can, my guest say he want to meet you, though. If you say get time in Labro, you say he inviting you to his office at the Capitol building. Uh, so will you will you meet Senator Nathaniel McGill? Yeah, why not? I mean, I'm talking to you, but hey, but what kind of man is so bad? They got to hear you. Know, you know, you know, you know, no, no, but I'm talking to you. I know where my Sorry. station is coming from. Let it. Let oh, okay, it. go ahead. That's a, that's a Francine Chinua special Richardson. Will you and uh, Mr. Abraham Richardson, uh, you know, visit Senator McGill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll consult with Mr. Abraham Richardson first, okay? <laughs> We are we all picture, if you are, if you are going meeting, we also take picture and do some recording, please. Oh. It, it, well, the man said, we not, we not know how, how government work. So I don't want to go embarrass myself. I'm ready to talk. What do you want to leave, leave me, let me ask my question. Because I will, I will go and talk about good governance and then I'll get in trouble. The, I asked him specifically about... When you met, you John met, you John met, you John met, John you John met uh, Musa Benita that is in Turkey right now enjoying himself. For a birthday party, he traveled. He's in Turkey. Then I, uh, 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 Senator Mike, you refusing to meet. I'm not refusing to meet. I told you so I was going to consult with my husband. Musa yeah, Benita went to Turkey to go have a birthday party. Man, can nah, you imagine that? I don't know anything about Musa going to Turkey to have a birthday, birthday party. I don't, I don't know. know about that. You guys are enjoying it. I can't I can't get get you can get a poor news. You can get a poor news. Wait, wait, I man, really this like is, but this is spoon. You got the vice president in Ghana. You got Musa Bility having birthday party in Turkey. You got this is the whole country, man. Where are we, Dwali? Everybody will leave. Musa Bility took a big delegation. A big delegation. Correct? What? I said, is, is that, that right? I said, is that right? I didn't, I'm just hearing this. But I am the one that's saying it, Dr. Richardson. I'm saying it because it's true. I, I believe you. Right now, as we speak, Musa Bility is having his birthday celebration. He said, there's no way in Liberia to accommodate the kind of celebration he wanted that's to why I'm Dr. That's Richardson, why. let me do my, I'm not saying you know, I'm giving you the information. I'm not asking you. Okay. I'm yeah, telling you. You're right. Okay. I'm telling you. Okay. To, yeah. to the eve of, of Yekes press conference, I just want to make that notation. <laughs> Is it what? No, man. Make a press conference tomorrow. Today's the eve of the press yeah. conference. Yeah. Pre I don't know why Yekes doing a press conference Sunday. You want me to share everybody come for a church for you finish eating? Everybody be who the yang. Well, I, I'm saying that you've been biased on the show, Dwadu. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, but everybody I see that you choose you 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 are you are you you are doing a calculated uh, uh, uh escape on this Musa Bility birthday celebration in Turkey. Musa is a multi-millionaire calling to himself. He can go anywhere he wants. With or, or like, or like a unlike unlike a gray, so I, Musa can know. have his birthday celebration in Turkey while Akaris gray. Can't get married in France. Are you saying that? Who's that's a businessman in a food that a car's girl was selling cornbread? Wait, he gave you the money. A car's girl was selling cornbread. Oh, God. As we speak to... right now, as we speak right now, Musa is taking his group to the, uh, how do you call it, the tower? How oh, you call that? Yes, um... Let me go check this page. How you look at no, my No, 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 no. I'm giving information that is not on Musa's page. Oh, okay. Share my own credit update me. Oh, I really see trouble. So, stay tuned. Like, just, just, just out of curiosity, do you think uh, Akaris Gray gonna have his first year honeymoon in Paris or London or perhaps New York? 
You ask like, me. I see you. You gotta be no more. Yeah, that's what I can experience. Let me ask you. Hey, we have this in first year anniversary. I, I, I'm just curious, man. But Mr. the white dude, let me recognize some of my people yet. Man, baby, man. Wait, but you said Mako and Karis Green now. You ask a good question. Shut up. You ask a good question. Yeah. And I'll call and Karis Green. If he answer, let he answer. Well, what's your question again? What's your question for him? Yeah, which city they will be having his anniversary? First year. I think it's his first year anniversary or second year anniversary. What what that matter to to the people where he have his anniversary? It matters. Does it matter as to his level? He's not a representative anymore. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But he's it's not a representative anymore. What the money? Guys, one thing you guys making a mistake on, right? Hmm. At Carus Gray, been a representative for he said twelve yeah. years. Yeah. Twelve years. Yeah. He make money. Yeah. I guess mostly Gray can go anywhere. He can travel. He's a green card holder in the United States. He can travel in any country. Cool. Once he get the money, he get resources. I can't great get a base in Europe. Yeah. You know, nobody can tell him where in Europe he need to go. I, I mean, he I mean he right now he's not a representative anymore. Uh, so for you to go after a Karis Gray, I mean, it, it's shocking to me. Where they will be having an anniversary? That doesn't after. matter where he can go in the kitchen on North Panton or Sony like, He can come to to, 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 to to Las Vegas. Why he get away the North Panton? He's not a representative anymore. Yeah, why would well, you? Yes, yeah, yeah, money, yeah, money lasting long now. Yeah, that all. That all wonder. I want to see all the BB flower there again. Hey, my sister Orita Momo, happy birthday. Um, Amen. The thing you gotta understand that the thing you got, if th the thing you gotta understand. Well, welcome your sister. Then I mean, don't call them sister. You know who they are. Some of these people. That calling your name, don't we? We we have marked them already. Okay, now my Jew, you know. Hi, Rebecca Carver. How you doing, Dolo Dolo? How are you, Stephen Carver? I don't know if you're related to Rebecca, but if you got what's the name, Stephen who? Carver. I'm Wilfred T. Dumba. Ah. I Stephen Carver. I hold on, my man. Yo. Um, I see you, Kuka Watson, B. Benu Campbell, Leroy Masakwe, Seattle Freeman. Christopher Philip, yep, Philip, Ruth Goba. How are you doing, Ruth? Mary Chie, Malan Chie, David Weatherspoon. How are you, Christopher Philip? I'm not which one is David Weatherspoon, man. I'm not thinking Small Mohammed Jalo. How you doing? I can be giving me hot time, maybe. Uh, DJ Easy in a minute. Oh, give me hot time. It's true. Yes, Tati Scar. Yes, guys, over here. It's one of them. Charles, Charles, how are you doing? Yeah, my light is not correct in this picture. I got to reach his hand. Can you see me better? David, I think I said, you holding your head. Right? Huh? Nothing you holding your head. That's original. I'm tired. It was a long trip, you know, Dave. Like you, man. Gay for P. Mawu, Benjamin. Is that Jonah or Blama? Blama? Yes, a Blama 10 you came you. How are you, <laughs> Cynthia Ma? Harry Dabe? Lopu Ziga, my own Jew Ziga. Who's one of Lopu? I love you, girl, right? That's original. Harry Khan. You can see me? Yeah. Yeah, life's good. David hey, Dolly. Life. Jerry Wallace. Yeah, I don't know. Dorothy C. Adoko. How are you doing? Propo King, my own brother. Armstrong Wabinda. James Limax. Everybody, man, you're welcome to the show. You're kind of talking like, bro. They're talking get fitting. And a West Ham. But, but, but did, you, did you see what... Uh, did you see what uh, Senator Prince Moi sharing? Yeah, the one point five million dollars still in bond No, it's more. Okay. Senator Prince Moi about to be the next godfather of bond County. Mori Hale, oh, Mori is going. Yeah, did the guy godfather? Godfather can't wear matches. No, but Senator Prince Moi is doing something though. I, I think we need to we need to bring this up right now. Senator Prince Moi, mm -hmm. oh. They guys don't got to come up to a win, win, win for, what's his name, Russell? Win for Russell, don't got to come up to a... But so the Prince Moe is doing something. Hey, oh, but they build, they're building a park, right? A park right, where? In Bonk County? Donald, why are you, why you not happy with the Prince Moe Park that he's trying to build? 
Wow. You build a park in Bonn County? It Where? went five. They're doing the hospital. They're doing the park. It's an agreement between Asela Mita. Wow. In three different countries. I'm gonna call him for us to for us to talk to him. Yeah, yeah I think I gotta call him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what you see. Let's yes. see if the videos, let's see if the video ready. And then we're gonna mm -hmm. talk about Jetty. Where Auntie Mama? I, I don't I didn't see her. I was at the studio today. I didn't see her. So okay. Maybe she's on her way. Dama, are we ready with the Jetty story? Just a minute, sir. I'm getting the tour of the facility video, just a short one. I'm trying Thank to get you. it. So we're gonna show Jetty. So talk to us about Jetty real yeah, quick. You know, I was I was very, very uh, you know, impressed, I want to say, because uh, he employs 450 at least Liberians. And for me, once you employ Liberians, you are also developing the community. You are bringing food into somebody's home. You are helping the children. You are helping that just 450 persons expand to so many people. Secondly, when you build a factory, in our country here, Liberia, you are also helping to develop our country. I grew up in Weala. My parents' farm are in Weala. It's just outside of Kakata. That place was dead. The only time we had life in Weala was during market day, okay, where you go to the market. Once the factory came there, a lot of people I spoke to said, now they see life, see light. There was a whole argument on the banning of unprocessed rubber going on today. Most of the people who spoke, the association of uh, rubber planters were there. Uh, she's, it's, she's uh, one, um, what was first, Wilhelmina Siawe was also there. She is the president of the association of rubber planters. And they explained that there's this whole issue is much deeper than our eyes can see. There's brokers that are involved. Certain people in Liberia where they go and just buy the people rubber to take the money for their own self. And when they buy the rubber, they put it on container and it gets shipped into other countries where it is being processed. So we are exporting jobs as opposed to processing the rubber right into our country. That's one of the things that I noticed there today. There's a lot of women empowerment. There were women driving almost all the trucks that I, I don't know that if I can call them trucks, but it was like the mini trucks, women were driving them today. I was impressed by that as well. Um, one of the things I also heard, the brokers are supposed to pay taxes to the, to the Republic of Liberia. Once they get the rubber out of here, they never do. Nobody knows what happens to them, to the, to the, to the revenue that is supposed to pay. So it was very, very uh, eye-opening for me. I, I like the fact that jobs were created. I like the fact that women were empowered. I like the fact that uh, we are not exporting our jobs. So I, I probably, um, I spoke to people, I was asking, I think I spoke to the safety officer. I was asking him, do you, how do you feel? Is this a good company to work for? Are you treated well? Because for me, it's important that Liberians are treated like human beings when they are working in these different factory. He said, yes, uh, they have three shifts, seven to three, three to 11, just like here. And uh, even in America, they don't feed them. He said he, he, they, they feed them for the different shifts. They have meetings regularly where they can express themselves. They're not, uh, they can express their opinions about what they like and what they dislike. And, you know, they have had some bad times. There are some people uh, who have went and put a uh, nail or needle in the rubber. And luckily they have metal detector detectors who can catch those things because they did that to sabotage the, the processing plant. Because if we ship rubber out of our country with metals in them, we get a bad repetition. There's a whole international standard of how the rubber should be. There, there are certain expectations that the international standards uh, Allow wants us to comply with. There should be no metal in your rubber. It should be a certain way. Um, it should be washed with a certain percentage of water, and all of these different things that um, people have to abide with, abide by. 
So he has about roughly more than a $36 million plant. If we shut it down, then there will be no jobs for Liberia. Wow. So let's play the video then. We're going to uh, bring in Dualu. Folks, let's see what, what actually was happening today. So, that's so in that saying. picture, the mm -hmm. Minister of Agriculture, I, I, please bear Dr. Luther. Dr. Luther was there. Dr. Luther. Luther, I'm sorry, Dr. Luther was there. I spoke to him briefly. They are all exploring this issue of banning on processed rubber for just not banning on processed rubber. That's what they're exploring right now in our country. Um, there was also the National Investment Commission. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, Bonte Plebo was also there. There was also someone from the Ministry of Commerce. I don't remember. I, I, I spoke to this person. I can't remember his name, but they were all there today. I was a little bit uh, upset because the president, the president was expected to be there. For some reason, I don't know why, uh, he didn't show up. Well, he sent, he deputized his responsibility to the agriculture minister so I, I don't know the background story, but they were really prepared for him. All the banners had his picture and his name on it. Um, so I don't know whether Jetty Rubber Company got a late notice. I, there was a lot of people there. There's one of the videos you see, it was, it was really crowded today and all of the people from the different towns, the chiefs, the imams, which is very nice, culturally appropriate to have these people, the people, the local people are there and the, and the president did not show up. So is it because this issue is a burning issue, processed rubber versus unprocessed rubber, that the president is still deciding that he so doesn't So he won't leave the rubber business and I put it to the president now <clears throat> because he didn't show up. <clears throat> Can you tell us what your experience, what you saw, and just <clears throat> leave the I'm president I'm just telling you, I'm not putting money in the president. I'm just asking. I yeah, said, you get it, man. Why the president? Why can't yeah, I say, I don't know what happened. You were not there. I said, I don't know what happened. You were not there. We can make a range where you can be if you If you make an appointment to go somewhere, you go. I had an appointment today with Miss T to be to her office at 9 30. I showed up at 9 30 today. That's how I'm trained. When I have work to do, I do my job. So, so I don't know. I don't know what happened. I was not there. I, I was not in the, involved in the background conversation as to what happened. He didn't show up, but he sent his deputy. He sent the, the right for person, which was the Minister of Agriculture needed to be there. The Minister of Agriculture needed to be there. The, the National Investment uh, Commissioner needed to be there. Uh, the Commerce Department needed to be there. So those people were also appropriate represent, representative of the president. But again, like I said, the issue of processed rubber versus unprocessed rubber. If we process the rubber in other countries, we are taking our, we are exporting our jobs to other countries for other people to do that work. And that's it's important to me that Liberian people have jobs in this country. And Mr. J, Mr. Jedi promised, because I asked him, I said, how come you guys taking all of the minerals and nothing is being manufactured in our country? He said, give him two years. They will be producing tires in this country. And I asked him what kind of tire. He said, I, I can't tell you what kind of tire, but I know I've been producing tires in this country. That, so that was music to my ears that for the first time, since Firestone have been here since 1920 something, we don't have any production company that we can say we are producing something, a product that is made of rubber in, in Liberia. So I was pleased to hear that as well. So there's more job. I, I'm happy that you went there. And, and I'm happy you, you went there, you saw it for yourself. Oh, I, you I know, I'm happy that you spoke to the folks. You spoke to the Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Nuta. You spoke I to did. the T. You spoke to his folks that are working at, 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 that, at that place. But, you know, it's a good thing, Dr. Richie, see? You know, we'll, 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 we'll be sending on this different assignment. Oh my goodness, it's working. The only thing is they didn't carry camera. We're saying on this different assignment, we trust you. Unlike uh, Dualu, unlike Dualu, we're saying on this different assignment. You did a stream the web, Mr. Dualu. 
Thank you. I, uh -huh. Yes, go ahead. Please. Yeah, your turn. Go ahead. Tell your point. So, uh, I, I would say this. Uh, good for JT that he has a rubber play. But my preference, I wish it was us that had a rubber play. I mean, us, I mean, the master coil for Fana. That's our thing. Now, I have to say this. Mm -hmm. um, the government has to understand something. It's a $36 million investment into that process. Great for Jetty. This is part of the manufacturing, small scale manufacturing, starting in Liberia. This is good. But I ask the question why are we doing this? Look, a society cannot develop. If the people that are making the bulk of the money in our society are foreigners and they're going to take that money to their home countries, it's not bad for this investment. I'm not tackling his investment. What I'm tackling here is when the resources of that country in the majority, in the bulk, is being removed out of the country by people who are not grounded to the country, the country is going to suffer. So this is not the kind of development that we want, even though it's great people are employed. I want a bigger factory that doing exactly that, but majority of Liberia own. They'll say, oh, that brain get the money. Oh, the expertise. Let me tell you something. Jetty did not have the expertise to build that. This is what Jetty did. He had some money. He went yes. got experts. He brought them to the country. And they, they, they taught people on the ground. And Liberians are not operating that plan. There's nothing magical about any kind of methods now around the world. You can find the expertise anyway. We need to do more of this. That is controlled by us. So the, buck, the majority of the resources can stay in the country. It's good for Jetty. All well for him. I mean, even the steel operation, he's actually the corner of that market. It's a substandard steel coming uh, to the market right now, as we speak. Who is going to be monitoring this? One thing I want people to understand, though, we are so excited because we are so far behind. When little comes to the country, we get over excited. And I understand people got jobs. I understand this. But it cannot be about the individual. It has to be about the totality of society. If we're not addressing this thing holistically as a country, the little, little, small, more thing not going to work. Liberians must champion this for it to actually be sustainable. Right. Yes, uh, you know, I agree with you. I wish when I was there, I was just thinking Liberians. But how do we do this, uh, Dualu? Your uh, 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 proposal to Liberians to at least collect dollars here the the yeah. is yeah. one, is, yes, is, is a way to do it, okay? But $36 million, I mean, those plants, remember that we don't have electricity in that area. Correct. He's using, he shows. Uh, he showed me and the tour we took today was uh, generators. He had to develop a water plant. You know, when you have a, which I didn't even know, when you have a rubber farm uh, processing plant, it requires water. You have to wash the, ru the, the rubber a lot of times. I think there was six stations of washing water. We don't have... Uh, water sewer company there, so he developed his no, 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 interrupt you for a second. Uh, yes, in England, here the largest textile manufacturer in the world for a very long time. I grew up in a city called Fall River, Mass. When you go to Low Mass, most of these factories mm -hmm. that were there, they're still there. They had their own look. You a one million dollar can build you a hydropower plant to supply electricity to a small factory. So, what Jetty is doing is not something out of the norm, it's something that so the water plant you're talking about. Another million dollar can generate that for the so you will make your money out, but we don't want to think it's government get money, they allocate the the law agency, they eat that oh. money, and then they go back to the CT CT and we're not spending. I agree with you. For the budget I, we can't even we can't even reach our own budget to a million <laughs> a million dollars. So our own budget we're struggling. They gotta call people in and pay them extra money to make it reach a million dollars. Okay, I agree with you, but the point is how do we get there and when do we get there? So do we wait? Until no, no, I got no qualms with Jetty. I understand what Jetty is doing. That's not about waiting. I mean, Honorable Dover Jala, the current uh, LRA director, you mentioned something about the tax issue. I'm pretty sure he's going to tackle this issue, and I trust this guy. I think he'll do a great yes. job. But I'm the sure. problem here, you look, establish the think tanks and let find the solutions. Look, the president has to listen. One person cannot know everything. Put a team of, I don't care, five, seven men together, men and women, and let them mm -hmm. think. And provide direction for the country. You can I wait. That. We can establish a national strategy. So listen, we're going to follow this strategy in this direction. Look, if we're not growing Liberian middle near, and I really mean this. In fact, I, I probably did that today, Dr. Francis, you get time to check it out. It's called, uh, um, uh, well, I just published a paper today. It's called, President Boyka must develop a vibrant private sector or he's still little chance of success. 
And, and, and then the problem here is, if we don't generate Liberian billionaires in the country, what Liberian billionaires themselves can actually define the direction of our country, and we're having a foreigner do that, the foreigner, they're going to create an enclave. And in that enclave, only themselves going to be controlling us. I don't want somebody from outside to control my country. Because I cannot go to India and control India. I cannot go to Lebanon and control Lebanon. I want my country to be controlled by Kekula. I want it to be controlled by Fofana. I don't want it to be controlled by Singh or Hassan. I don't want that. And what would you do with everything? You know, I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, I also want to make a just I asked uh, Jetty today, there's a distinction between Seti and Jetty. He Correct. told me that Seti is the one who does the steel. Jetty is the one who's doing the rubber and, and also feed people. That's what he told me. About the one the same. So we, we ah. take it, I tend to put that on, on a one category. Uh, number two, uh, you know, there's something about the brokers we have to talk about. The brokers. The brokers are people who go and buy uh, rubber from these rubber farmers without even sometimes paying for it. The rubber farmers today told me they tell them they would give them vouchers, and so they would buy the rubber, and sometimes uh, they don't even get paid. They, they say, "Well, they give you a voucher, and you come for your money." Three, four, five months later, then I ship their people rubber, and they don't get paid. So, and, and meanwhile, they're not even paying taxes to Liberian people. They, when the body, the brokers buy this rubber, they're expected to pay taxes. I think that I was told that's almost like ninety containers. At the at the port, and there's not taxes that I need, that we are not collecting for the Liberian people. If we collect the taxes, we have at least two two million dollars per ninety containers for our budget. We're not doing that. So my thing is that Dr. Richardson, thank you because I was on the phone. Someone said, "Well, but the, um, Dwaru is making a mistake. Jetty is not the one that doing the steal. That's Seti doing the steal." Uh, mm -hmm. But 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 let's just let, let's just go back to Adolo. I, I I think when these guys come into the country to do these things, our lawmakers give them a lot of opening. We can do it, but for ourselves, we should. Uh, but let's also, you know, why, except where we are, and uh, at least these guys. The jetty bringing in four seven hundred individuals, four hundred individuals, people getting paid. Family relying on that. We can make our argument. We should argue that we should do it ourselves. But they are helping. But they are helping. When we are in a position to do it ourselves, then let's start employing the four hundred individuals, the five hundred individuals. Let's start talking about why we can open our own gold mine. Well, we can open our own diamond mine. Well, we can open our processing company. And I don't think these guys will stay in our way. Your suggestion that we can do it, I do agree. But dry does sweet. Well, you'll be eating now before the door turns dry. This is where we are. We cannot you know, tell them we don't want them. Those are business individuals. That's not, that's not the and our Lord, no, I understand what you are saying. I'm just making my point, brother Duaru. Our Lord is our Lord. We should try to change our law to benefit Liberians. We should try to bring in our own resources to help ourselves. Can the government look at us and give us 10 million United States dollars and say, go in this business? Can we organize ourselves? These are some of the questions we should be asking. So let's applaud those that are trying to hire our brothers and sisters and correct them when they are mistaken. And then we see how we can get into those businesses and do that, which we got to do as Liberians to build Liberia. I have a question for you, Stanton. Yes, sir. Have you ever done business in Liberia, in an area, in any kind of business that you want to do, that a Lebanese or somebody from the Middle East is doing that same business? Have you ever tried to do that same business in Liberia? I plead the faith. Okay. I cannot speak on it right now. Okay, let me say this to you. If you mm -hmm. try to get into my environment, you will be entirely stifled by your own people. Because there's something that's happening in the country. Now, I, I love what, what, what JT and Seti are doing. They're bringing this factory to Liberia, and Liberians are getting jobs. But you got to look at the bigger picture, okay? Development are not done that way. I mean, it's not done that way. Let me say this. If you try to get into a business in the country, what will happen is Uncle Weatherspoon is a minister of commerce. Dwaru wants to get into the steel making business. You're going to get preference 
to somebody who's from the Middle East over Dwalu, even though I may be comfortable or even better than that person in my own country. How do we change that mindset? It's something that I that I talk about people almost every single day. Because if, if, if we continue to think in this light where we believe, oh, let it be somebody who's foreign that can do this and become the millionaire, we, we're going to be at the bottom permanently. And, and I'm going to say this to Liberians, look, guys, you can't go anywhere in the, uh, in, on, the, on the globe. Don't, don't take my word for it. Go anywhere in the world. You will never see people that are controlling that, that, that country economy, that are in majority foreigner. We're not saying foreigners should not do business in the country. That's not what I'm not suggesting. But what I'm saying is our effort must be buttressed in a way so Liberia can dominate economically in the country. Because this is the only place we have the right to dominate. But we are not dominating. The 400 jobs seem like a lot. But why if, look, once steer raw in the country, economics is everything, everything. All our job job we're doing, all of it don't make no sense. But if we don't control the market, nothing is going to work in Liberia. We have to control our own market. People will disagree. Say, oh, Dwayne, you put yeah, come put the money there, can't do this, can't do that. That's okay. I said this before Stanton came on. My truth is to come and give you a message that will lift the country. How you take that message that I don't know, Kenya carry it? Say, welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Hot talk. Thank you. One side of the list right here is not there. Where? Right here. Right here. Right here. It's not there. It's it's way up here. Maybe you want to get rid of it. I guess it was more. Um, let me look at it. That Dwali to, me, Dwali told me, me. Dwali told me. Hold on, Dr. Richardson. Dwali told me to tell you to bring you on big picture, as you can see. Says Glenn, look at her now. Look at her Glenn. You see right on the right side. You see right side on the right side. side. Oh, meet your set. You made a mistake. Pull it right here. Yeah, I'm telling you, you can't make you be making you too awkward. I'm telling you, you don't for it. I keep on telling you, that you listen to me. I'm willing to wrap it up now, sir. No sense. But Dwayne, let me say this to you. Dwayne, let me Dwayne, let me say this to you. The past government suffer her own people. True. There was nothing going through Dwalu. Almost every day the truth. Yeah. This government destroyed our country with three months to go. This government, right? I do believe that when you speak to Amin Modal, when you speak to folks in this government, people that people that really mean business for this government to grow, they will they will hear you. They will help you out. I know them. If anybody or anybody can talk to Amin Boda a hundred times a day, me, I can talk to him, he must answer. And I know if you want to get into business, whatever it is, and he can help, he will help. That's Amin Boda. Because you know why? Let me say this. He's a businessman. It's on him to elevate this government. He served as chairman of the unity party. He fought a good fight. He know what it means. So say what you want to say. Let's just, you're going back six years. If you carry anything to Liberia, you find this greedy hunter standing, you say, I must get a share in it. That's what they used to say. I must get my own. Put 50% there for me. Put 20% there for me. Or put dollar on it for me. I dare anybody do it in this government. I said some I don't know. You will be fired. So if you think that your suggestion, like the ideas you are bringing up, it will go the long way. That's what we need to do as a Liberian. I understand your crowd, my brother. But again, go ask people from uh, uh, Chicken Soup Factory, mm -hmm. Goose Porto, and somewhere in North Panto, dry or sweet, while you'll be eating for eight or 10 dry. They may have the same people. people. If the men go ahead, and say, you know what, I will make it 800 people. If the men say in two years, we'll be doing everything here in Liberia, let's find a competition. Those people that get a rubber, hmm? can one of us open a company right now and say, okay, Jetty, we're going to open this company. How are you shipping your rubber up? Should I name some people in Liberia, Mr. Duadu, that I know, that I have spoken to, that doing rubber business, that they're doing it better than Jetty, but they are not, open, they're not, they're not coming up? Should I name them to you? Permanent people, lawmakers, people in the executive, 
that are doing the same rubber shipping business. So why everybody beat on the jetty as if to say they themselves not doing it? Let's, 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 let's get this clear. The fight is not against a businessman like Jack Tiasetti in the country. I don't have any qualms against them. I hope they expand their operation, hire more Liberia. My issue is look at the bigger picture. It's the control that I'm talking about. And I want to respond to something that I normally don't do. Is this, guys. If you're comparing America with Liberia, you say, oh, Liberian working in America, they're sending money to Liberia too. I, I, I don't want to say this, but I would just say it just on the surface. You don't know what you're talking about. Come to America. You think Liberia can you can ship money out of this country or you can go to a small town in New Jersey and out of Liberia, you just all of a sudden you come, you say you're going to control that local market. Is something wrong with you? Go to any country in the globe. You cannot do it. They're not going to let you do it so easily. Even your foreign firm, there's stringent requirements, especially if local operations can be done by local people. Guess what? The government will literally fund that local operation, put in local people until that business develops. Look, you see Toyota, you see Nissan, you see Samsung. They were not developed by private people initially. The government funded this, funded this. Okay, I want to recommend a book to you. It's called The, the, the Economic Development of, of Japan from 1820. It was just published in 2008. Check out that book. You will understand the evolution of most of the industries in this country. They were initially funded by government. And when it got to a certain level, the government relinquished ownership to the private individual that ran it so they can grow corporations across the country. Every single country in the world, that's how it's done. Because individually, people don't have money. That offense say, I don't have money to go compete with a businessman that can put in $36 million. But what the government does is they're going to come out. We're going to give that to friends in $10 million. We're going to make sure we monitor. This is not based on patronage. It's to grow the economy so it can be localized, indigenous. It's not because of any kind of xenophobia. This is how it's done if you want to grow. It's not me saying it. It's the history books. It's the economic books. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we're going to be putting some picture up. Um, we're going to be putting some picture up. Uh, Blendy. You, you met us discussing this jetty issue. Uh, these, not only jetty, these foreign businesses that are in the country, you talk about the rice, you talk about steel, you talk about cement, rubber, and everything else. You know, and I'm, I'm gonna call Prince Moi. Uh, something was done today. Prince Moi, they're getting the big, I see that Meta project coming on to build more parks and all the things. I wanna give Prince Moi the chance to discuss it. We're going to bring in uh, Winfred Russell from Minnesota to talk about his um, his intent to run in Minnesota for Congress. And then we'll talk about all the other stuff. So talk to me, Glenny. Where are you? Um, quite a day today. I was I heard of I was I was listening to the Jetty and Seti. Those people have been in Liberia forever. Thirty-seven years. Yes, for a long time, Jetty and Seti brothers. They've been there. They've won all the They've monopolized whatever businesses they've been in, and it's just been the history. Uh, hopefully, this time around, with the things they're, they're doing, maybe Liberians will benefit. I hope those people that they're employing, maybe if they're going to get the business, then they, they, all of the employees should be Liberians. Maybe that's how the country can benefit. But um, yeah. we're, we're looking forward to, to seeing at least some Liberians get involved in what they're doing and also have at least a higher percentage of of the work that they do so that they're not in a monopoly that Liberians can probably be up top and they, they can be secondary to them. But um, it's good to be here. It's a slow Saturday for me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's what happened. It will always be slow, you know. I will leave the rest <laughs> with the people thinking. You know, the Bible say and so shall it be a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife and the two shall be one flesh your problem. that is saturday will never be slow but okay. uh, I, I feel your pain but the woman um, I, you. I get pain <laughs> i get no pain <laughs> went, the woman called me every day it's not a complaint uh, every day she called me you know that's a complaint Dwalu. Uh, okay. uh, Oh, 
You <laughs> have fire in you. Run that fire in. <laughs> they are fire in. <laughs> The no, one scared me. I mean, I talk about rich man. I don't talk about, I don't know who that rich man guy is. Seriously, no, no. <laughs> but but that Glenny scared us, man. Glenny, oh, you're all money. I mean, you working, you making good money. You just saying what you said. You making for the nine hours and hours, so you making good money. You don't want to be out of your mind. Yeah, the papa, you say you want someone that can cook somebody that can clean up somebody that can do laundry. Papa say you do everything. So. Which papa? The okay, one that you were talking to the other day. Which one? <laughs> oh, I'm calling me. You know papa. You know papa. I'm calling me. I'm every time you call him, man, I will call him man. Which man you know me? One call. No, I'm just saying you my sister. You can't know me for advice. Let's leave it like that. I don't <laughs> advise people. I don't advise That's people and put it out there. That's true. I'll leave it with you. That's true. And you know the group of it and no other cook, right? Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't That white man, I look for. Oh, the white man, man brain. Uh, go, go ask. Go call Fatima. She will find one for you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go I ask. Oh my God. No, I didn't say that. I didn't. No, no, no. I didn't come for you. Somebody in the comments say there will be very submissive in my video. I pack up for. Oh Lord. But 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 you know what though? At, at the end of the day, I don't know why people can get so angry. Because you got you got to help your fellow librarian, Glenn. Yeah. If, if you if you can. The you woman has social program. <laughs> you laugh here again. Somebody told you that I'm lonely. Lonely. I'm lonely. I'm so lonely. No, I'm not. I need somebody <laughs> to help me through. We had an upper room singing. We had an upper room singing. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys! You're not gonna fail. You're not gonna fail. Uh, well, so listen, I want to hear you so agitated. It's so this agitated. is so this is this is jetty. This is just uh, uh, is that a rubber that you're interested? The rubber, right? Yes, that's the rubber after it's been washed, and it has to be a certain weight, and they have to look into it to make sure that there's no metal or any kind of uh, foreign object into it, because when it gets shipped out of Liberia. Uh, there's international regulations about rubber. You can't have different coloration, all these different things. And so it has to be checked. And all of these people that you see are working there, they were trained to, they are all Iberians. They were trained to- How much are you there? Um, honestly, I, I, when I asked them, they told me it was a fair, fair wage they received uh, according to Liberian uh, laws. So we sh I don't know what the wage is in Liberia. I didn't check that out yet. But they said it was fair wage. That's the first thing. Yeah. I know the, the the young men and women in in the in the factory that you went to today. They will tell you what you need to hear. I'm not saying they're treating them bad or any kind, but you find them when they're at the house to get a true perspective of what's going on. Nobody will say it because they, they get job in my brain is so extremely difficult. Yeah, right? it's hard. So yeah. when you get job, anything they say, you say yes, sir. I've gone. If you go to towards um. West Point, West Center, and so Steve Becker and join the water and they go swim with it. In that area, they can be mattress, then they can be all kind of thing on that side. When you go, the guys in the paint factory, they can be stepping there, all kind of thing. Stand on, you still take back red. You drive where we battle until the back red, they took it on their back, and they just join the water and swim with it. You know, nobody will believe you because I don't even no, know. But, how to um, swim. And, and Tom, that's a fair point that you're making. I truly appreciate that point. And yes, I am going back tomorrow. I'm actually on my way to Bone Mines. It's not far from where I live. And I can stop and ask uh, people in the community that are not working their shift and to have a conversation with them. And I would love this. You know, Jetty was very open to today with me. He said he would love more Liberians to get into the business. Um, you know, he, there are Liberians who are in this processing uh, plant business as well. There's four other processing plants in Liberia, if I you know, remember correctly. And uh, for me, the issue is it's changed the town 400 and Plus, Liberians are hired. In the past, the brokers are the ones who are buying the rubber. They go into the rubber farm. They sometimes bribe the tappers to steal 
grab off from the farmers and then give it to them and then give them a voucher to pay them. All right. And then when they do that, uh, they, 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 they don't get paid. The tappers don't get paid. The farmers don't get paid. So there's a lot of criminality that, that's going on behind this. And I heard this from the rubber, the president of the Rubber Association of Iberia, Ms. Wilhelmina Siawi. That's what she told me today. There was another guy who said that to me today. But one of the things that were impressed with, they were not doing anything, okay, until, uh, you know, this factory came around, built outside of Morovia for people in the rural community, BWI uh, students are employed there. That's what I asked, like, where, where are they getting the empl employees from? And he told me, you know, so there's different pockets. That I'm happy. I'm happy Liberians. Uh, what are you doing? You are trying to taste the rubber? No, I was trying to feel it. I don't, I've never, it felt like Ganga ball to me. I've never really felt, I've never felt yeah, no the rubber. Yeah, rubber can do. First Ganga ball. <laughs> So, you know, and, and I was just impressed at the fact that he's going to open into, he told me about two or three years, if he doesn't open my grand company, she's shut yeah, down. Uh, tire company. And I said, what kind of tire? He said, just wait. He's still exploring that. But to me, Liberians have been hired and hiring 400 plus persons impact the homes of those 400 plus persons. At least somebody's bringing salary home to pay, to, to feed their children. Uh, to support their home. That's that's uh, impactful to me. I'm yes, gonna I call, I'm, I'm, gonna call, I'm going to call Jetty. I, I think we should call Jetty. Hey, Fatima, how you doing, ma? Fatima, how you doing? Fatima, I didn't say anything. Fatima, you heard what it said about you, huh? No. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. No, you don't do that. I didn't say anything. And it's the only way making a look at this now. You left Bobby Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> that jeez, you know, so popular. <laughs> I know. No, because I when he said, I said she won't wear men, I said the best person to ask, the best person to ask that Fatima. Hey, that's a bad thing. Hey, you know, the best person to ask that Fatima, and I think that uh, Fatima will help you out. She will take you to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Fatima, you heard what they said about you, huh? She will take you to Florida. Fatima. Fatima, you know, Fatima, you see, we walk up. It's a high place, <laughs> That's right. Fatima, Fatima, you're going to walk out of there. Oh, you want to tell you what's happening, man, with Walker? Oh, you can't say Fatima, you must go. Fatima, you're going to walk out of there. Fatima, you're going to walk out of there. My best friend, AJ, said Fatima been too silly that my girl would do that kind of thing. Don't mind you. That's not. For you to go rescue that brother. Fatima, 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 you own Ramadan. Allah look at you. You're popping out on oxygen. Wait, 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 wait. You own Ramadan. You will get Ramadan Tuesday. What money you got on Ramadan? Your papa also your turn around like this. You can go like this. <laughs> oh, God. Folks, listen. You know what? You know what? You know, you know. No, look at the one check her. Yeah, yeah. People, look at Loretta <laughs> pushing. I can't believe you. Fatima did it with all my men. <laughs> I didn't even know a camera. No, no, that happened. Fatima, nobody was spoiling your hustle, yeah. Let it be. If anyone want to be part of it, just take out take to Florida. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. it's so shan't stay. Doug, you're looking to Florida, La I know, I know. We got, we got to I investigate. Do I want to investigate. See you, one can try to come compare me with Uncle Sam. You see how Uncle Sam with a young girl, a young girl, a young girl. I beg you. They oh, come in brutal. We only say a young girl. So, are you a patient? The client patient call. Eh, 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 how you call it, sir? Come with the shadow. Come with the shadow. What kind of client patient privilege? Yes. Privilege. Can I say a beer? Oh, you may leave me. No, no, no. I didn't say you beer. No, 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 no. no. Where you going to be? I say. Yeah. Yeah, let me that conversation back. Hey, no, people we watch our talk. About, we got plenty to talk about. Let me that one because the thing, Grady, listen to me. I if, if you if you want help, call Fatima. I don't need help for nothing. Grady, I know your trouble, right? <laughs> I know the trouble you're carrying, Grady. 
Et pas ça, tu glanes. Ma mère, on a good day. Glenny forcing ourselves to go to bed. On a good day. That means we know your situation, Glenny. God will help you. Oh, you know, we said, we said, we said, embarrassment. Please call it. One man calling in the trash, Glenny, you'll get you and say you're ready to submit as a flow map. <laughs> but let's discuss this. I want to call Prince Boy. Prince Moi, uh, today he this is what happened. Uh, Prince Moi in Bon County today. I think he and the other senator, after attending a funeral, they are talking about doing something that George Manaweya did, building parks for the youth, hospital. Uh, the project is covering Bon County, Nimba, and Grand Basser. And, you know, and the project. It's something that is sponsored by Asala Mittal. So they went to see the spot, and it's right on the main highway. When you go into Bon County, you have place to rest and place to chill. And therefore, we'll be calling Prince Moi that he can better tell the Liberian people what's going on, the funding, and the way forward of this project. So guys, let me call Prince Moi. And after Prince Moi, the senator of Bon County, we will be bringing in Winfrey Russo and his team. Today is a relaxing Saturday, so if we crack some joke, please accept it. We are not here to be serial all day. No, we are too handsome and beautiful to show war faces, okay? So accept our joke. We are all adult. We we'll laugh and keep it very, very professional. The Senator of Bon County, Senator Prince Moi, welcome to Spoon Talk. How are you doing, sir? Ah, good evening. Good night, good night, good night, uh, Stempton and uh, other panelists. I'm doing well in Bon County. Uh, we came for a very big funeral today. Uh, the regional uh, inspector of police, uh, in presence of uh, the late uh, Morris Timmer, was laid to rest today. So it's a very big funeral today in Bon County. Oh, wow. My sympathy to you and the people of Bon County. I didn't know that. I never heard it. But thanks for saying that. We pray that his family remains strong and the grace of God be upon uh, his remain. Um, I want to say thank you for joining us, man. I call you because I'm showing pictures. I'm showing pictures about, uh, you know, you. Uh, I think this is Johnny Quehe. Am I correct? Yeah. Senator, yeah. Senator Quehe and the rest of the team talking about, tell us exactly what was happening. You stopped on the main way and you were speaking. You just on picture, your hands up. So talk to us. What's going on? <laughs> Oh, okay. So um, when we took over as chairman of the Born Legislative Caucus, um, we made an agreement that was signed between the government of Liberia and uh, Asala Mental. Uh, and I got, uh, that agreement clearly states that uh, Asala Mental would do uh, projects uh, that would be sp supervised by LIS. You know, LIS is the uh, the, um, the development arm of our government. So that agreement is in the tune of uh, $8.5 million. And it's a 640 uh, uh, sharing ratio uh, development project that will be done in Basa, in Lima. And then uh, we wrote uh, Asala Metal to have Bon County included, since indeed. Uh, these projects have been uh, earmarking the affected uh, asylum mental operations. Uh, as you may be aware, there's uh, a mineral development agreement that bounds uh, the three counties in terms of uh, benefiting uh, social development fund from asylum mental. So that's an extraordinary agreement that government will fund. 40% uh, of the $8.5 million in agreement. We have <clears throat> lease uh, awarding contracts to um, con uh, contractors, uh, companies that will build a $3.5 million new government hospital in Grand Basa County and another $3.5 million uh, new, uh, new hospital, government hospital in San Nicolini, County and a school park that's supposed to be built in Counter. So when we read the agreement and 
we contacted um, Asalaro and then we told them that, look, Bond County cannot be excluded. As a matter of fact, uh, Bond is one of the affected counties in your operation area. So we needed a sport park. So the need that an addendum be made uh, to have Bond County benefiting. And all the stakeholders, including the Ministry of Justice, the Ministry of Finance, have been written. Uh, and we have um, contacted um, the Minister of State for projects in the in the in the in the, in the executive mansion, uh, and then uh, all stakeholders have agreed, in principle, that yes, uh, I think it will be detrimental if bond is left out of this uh, 8.5 million uh, United States dollars uh, development projects that will be done in only two counties. Hello. That, uh, the addendum be. Senator. Hello. It's Propo Network. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. You went off for a bit, but talk to us. We can hear you now. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, I mean, Banga in the remote uh, area, so maybe the network will be dropping. But I'm clear now. Yes. Okay, so the 8.5 million, like I said, uh, in the original agreement that was signed between Asala Mental and the government of Liberia, only took into consideration a $3.5 million new government hospital in Grand Bassa County, specifically in Pekana. Sanukuli, Nimba County, hospital, 3.5, and then a spoke part in Ganta. Uh, Nima County. So having read the agreement and taken over as a new chair president of the Bond Legislative Caucus, the caucus met and then we agreed to engage Asala Mental and the government of Liberia to have Bond County included. And then there should be an addendum to have Bond County included in that particular arrangement, since indeed uh, Mental worked cut across the three counties. So as we speak, uh, we have made frantic efforts. We are reaching the Minister of Finance is, and um, the Minister of States for special project. And the discussions are on the way that definitely the $1.5 million sport part will be built in Bone County. Thank you very much, uh, Senator. And again, and listen, I think we're going to have you in studio one of these days when you're back in Morovia. But uh, let me give yeah. you guys... Uh, my colleagues chance to ask you some basic question. First of all, Mayam, I will ask you only one question. I said I'm the was owing the people of Liberia, Bon County, Nimba, Grand Basso. Have they made up their payment? Uh, Meta have always been paying. The problem has been for the government of Liberia to remit uh, those payments in the different accounts Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you, you can hear me? Yes, yeah, please continue. Yeah, has always been play, uh, paid. But our problem over the last six years has been for those payments to be remitted to the accounts of the three counties. That has been the problem. So uh, now that we are discussing the budget, those issues will come out to see what the arrears are uh, that Mita owes the different counties. Uh, so that we can make appropriate appropriation so that uh, no funding can go in a different county's account. No, so, to, to my uh, question, uh, have they, are they, different but Senator, Senator, are they owing the Labyrinth government, the people of Nimba, Grand Basel, and Bum, or have they paid and our government refused to remit this uh, to amount? To a very large extent, they have been paid. It is our government that have not remitted those monies in the accounts of the different counties. Wow. That's wow. Okay. Let me bring in Dualu, Dr. Richardson, Fatima, and Glendy. Dualu? Hey, Senator, how you doing, man? This is Dualu. How you doing, sir? Hey, Dualu, you just lost from us. How you coming back? Hey, coming back, coming back, Senator. Let me say this. Let me ask you a question. What would you say to somebody from Bond County who says a sports park is just going to be sitting there? Why don't you build a small factory so we can put some men to work? How would you respond to them? 
No, that, 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 as a fallacy, it's not going to be Sydney. Bong is strategically located. This is a central county in the, in the height of the country. So you cannot tell me a sport park that will have all the different facilities will get be city. People have to leave from Monrovia. People have to leave from some part of Lofa and other places, Basa, you know, to come and enjoy themselves, you know, and have some different uh, festive park. So and where going to be located is, is quite a deal. It's not somewhere that you're going to be struggling to, to get to. It's going to be right on the meet family has uh, given us 10 acres uh, of land right on the road where you saw us standing. That was that was what we're trying to assess. And the contractor was with us. But I think we had a bad cameraman, the contractor and the head of this, uh, uh, Honorable Julius. Can, can, you, was, can, you, was be, can you be very and, clear that our cameraman not from Spoon Network because we did this <laughs> first? <laughs> yes, I want, to, I, want, I want to agree with you. It was not from Spoon Network. And, before the groundbreaking and all the kind of stuff, I think Spoon will have to send a, a, a very strategic you know, camera person to, to, to get all of us captured. But that was a bad photograph. Julia was there today, and the con contractor that won the contract that should begin clearing the spot was also there today. Yeah, my, my, my next question is, Senator, uh, we know what happened to the county development fund. Um, there was a lot of accusations made in terms of corruption surrounding the issue and the disbursement and the implementation. What assurances can you give the people of Bone County that this is going to be done right, if it is done at all, without any form of accusation of any corruption of any kind? Uh, no county official will handle a dime. The official going to handle a dime. It's... it's is is list going to supervise the, the the contract and then payment will be made if it is the 60 percent of a salary mental going to be made directly based on the performance of the uh, contractor directly to the contractor and then if it is a 40 percent payment of the gol list want to assess it and also have that contractor pay directly from the gol account it's not a social development fund that is 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 domicile in the different counties account it's, it's different arrangement uh that will that will that will have the three counties benefiting 40 percent of the 8.5 million dollars from the government of liberia and then 60 percent from asala metal aside their social contribution as per the agreement the mineral development agreement between uh metal and and, and the government of liberia thank you Senator. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Richardson? Sorry. Um, Senator Moy, thank you for speaking to us today. My question to you is, did you get a chance to do a projection of how the community in which you are building this park would be impacted in terms of job and uh, future financial opportunities for them? I'm just curious if that was part of the, the thought process behind bringing this park to uh, Bone County. By the way, you have a beautiful county. Bone County is very beautiful. Yes, that's why that's why Dr. That Richardson, uh, we have negotiated for 10 acres of land instead of the five originally uh, that was meant for the project uh, to cover the pro project site. Uh, we have negotiated for additional five, making it ten, and the family has graciously. Am I am I okay? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the family has graciously agreed to give us the the, the, the ten acres. So, what we intend to do as a county uh, uh, is to to have a bigger space that we can build some uh, housing units that will host uh, different teams from maybe different counties during the county. Even our national team uh, can be uh, hosted and, 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 and lodged in those different uh, buildings. I don't want to call it a very big hotel, but they're going to be up to standard. That's going to be uh, a feature uh, development area for our county. And, the funding will be provided this time around from the Social Development Fund, aside from the 1.5 that are going to be invested by 
uh, asylum mental in the government of Liberia. So we, we are thinking ahead. And mind you, you saw the the lane. It's, it's right next to Palala. Palala is a very uh, big city right now, a very uh, progressive uh, uh, city uh, in, in, in Bond County. So that environment is going to open. There's a road leading straight to Basel from Palala. You take that road and go straight to Basel. And it also connects with the main road to, to Nima County. And there's another road from the same part uh, and going straight to Guinea by way of uh, Ghana. So the selection of the place is, is, is ideally located in terms of uh, future uh, uh, potential for businesses and other uh, facilities that can enhance uh, you know, the growth and development of that particular locality. Um, my second question to you is, the government of Liberia is supposed to pay 40% of the cost of this park. Um, is that money contingent upon, is the money that Asala Mattel is supposed to use to build the park contingent upon how much the government gave and when they gave that money? Uh, Mattel has been generous. Uh, according to the executive director, the, the, the director general, sorry, at, at, at least, Honorable Julius Silly. Uh, given the conversation they have had, Meta has 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 promised that the government can uh, write, communicate, and, and say, "Look, move ahead to even pay a portion of our forty percent, and we can pay later." And Meta is willing to 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 listen to that and, and honor right. So uh, there's no hindrance at all in terms of uh, government portion of the uh, contract. There's no hindrance. I'm told by by Honorable Julia Silly. So I think the Minister of Finance and Justice will have to proceed to do that communication. Yeah, Mittal, go ahead, uh, pay that our forty percent. That could be uh, something that we can negotiate. Uh, deduction be made from taxes that you're supposed to pay, royalty and all the kind of stuff. So uh, it's a it's a it's a, a very good arrangement. And I don't think anything should stall it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Richard Singlendi. You said Fatima. Go ahead, Fatima. Honorable, how are you today? <clears throat> I'm okay, Fatima. And you? Uh, we thank God. Uh, Honorable, I, was, I mean, I, I was thinking about the park situation. I think it's a brilliant idea. It's a beautiful idea. But I was just wondering, what is the unemployment rate of the people in Bond County? Uh, Fatima, that's, that's one big uh, issue we have here is it's very high. Bond currently doesn't hold uh, companies that are actively operating. We had uh, the biggest concession uh, on the book right now until the Asala Metal uh, 800 million amendment can be rectified. China New York still remains the biggest, uh, you know, uh, holder of the concession in 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 in, in our country. But since 2014, China New York hasn't come uh, into operation fully. And that's one of the things we're going to, we're going to be very strong as a, bond, as a county caucus to engage okay. it, then through the, um, the, uh, the Ministry of Lands, Mines, and Energy and uh, the Bureau of Concession to, to, to tell us whether uh, they are ready to operate the mine, whether they are ready to provide the kind of employment that they say they want to provide in the uh, MDA. So to be very strict to your question, um, employment rate is quite low, very, very low, very, very low. Uh, OK. Is there any data at, at all? You got, something like to play, you got something to play from your end. You got something on Fatima, like a TV or so. It's off now. Oh, it was yes. my phone. I was asking, Honorable, I said, is there any data for that? Because my thing is, the reason why I'm asking this question is that as progressive as you say Bond County is, we want to put the men to work. We want When the men go to work, there is respectability for the family. You know, uh, the women are there. Men and women are going to work. The county becomes productive. So I know that we're the park will be strategically located. I know that people will take care of it. But my, you know, if we could also do 
bring like a factory to Bon County where all of our men and women are working. That would be a major development for our people, don't you think? It is, it is, it is quite true. The only few institutions we have here, uh, Fatima, is uh, Cottington University, and we have the uh, Central Agriculture uh, uh, Research uh, Center, Cary, and then uh, we have the Phoebe Hospital. Uh, these are institutions uh, that are providing currently uh, job opportunity. But again, our president, our president has continuously express that uh, he's going to build a convention center. This is something that he told the Bon County people, build a convention center in Bon. So we know what convention center is. Uh, so if that happens, that's going to also help to attract a lot of conferences uh, in Bon. And when people come, you know, they want to end up in some of the uh, recreation, recreation, recreational areas like uh, the Badawi and the sport parts that we are talking about that will also have other facility, facilities in, in, in there. So we are hoping that those things happen. So my, my, my last question oh, is not that we are uh, hoping, we are hoping. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. I thought you were done. No, no, I mean, yeah, like I said, just to conclude on your question, I said on the overall, there's not much of a very big employment as, as, as it stands. And indeed, China New Year is not operating at a full scale. So, uh, as as our honorable, I would I would think that we will prioritize, you know, there are levels, you know, I, I'm truly, truly happy that we are thinking towards a park or a strategically located park, but I will prioritize putting our people to work because work brings pride. Work makes a man want to, you know, want to come when a man coming home, the children run into the door to see what papa brought. It brings respectability. It brings, you know, people togetherness. It make it make the wife to know that my husband can provide. So I don't think the park would do that much. Although, you know, this is where you're leaning, I think. The priority should be the, the, the priority that we should be working, you know, basically focusing on is bringing our people to work first. Opening a factory, opening something that will employ thousands of our people, so that Papa can come home with candy for children. Thank you, sir. Okay, you you're quite right. That's why we're gonna we're gonna be very strong on China New Year of recent, so that uh, they live up to that MDA that they have. Thank you. Let me bring in Glendy. Senator Moy, how are you? Oh, I'm okay, Glendy. I'm okay. And you? I'm good. So my my I heard um I'm gonna ask um in reference to what you said. My first question is this. You mentioned that um the president wants a so the decision has been made now to do a park in the area. Um, but I want to ask you, have anyone consider what the residents in the community need, what it is that they will want a park versus improving the building of Phoebe hospital, maybe uh, rebuilding it into a bigger and better hospital, because you name also that Phoebe hospital cutting down and, and those are the only things that carry. Those are the only three major things right there. So I want to know what, from you whether the community has a say so in in this project. Okay, so from the onset of uh, the conversation, I clearly put it that uh, the community, to a very large extent, does not have a say in the project, and that that's that's the unfortunate uh, aspect of it. Uh, I said that. that the contract was already signed, and then when we took over as chairman of the caucus, we noticed that Bone was not benefiting. And then we have to make the case that a part should come, since a part was part of the first contract uh, that was signed to be done in counter, along with the hospital, the $3.5 million hospital in uh, San Nicole. So we thought that uh, we should benefit from the part, so there should be an addendum to that contract, taking it to 
uh, 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 $10 million because it's going to be additional $1.5. Uh, so you're right, the community doesn't have to a very large extent, but they are excited that uh, a park going to come in that area to open it up, that other businesses will be uh, established. And by establishing them, they will have a piece of work to do. Some of the citizens are skilled and non-skilled also will have some work to do in you know, different areas that will be established uh, alongside the park. Um, I, I, I hear you, but I think that's a little um, bit difficult to, uh, to understand that the community has no say so in what it is that they're going to benefit from and what's going to improve their community living. My second question is, I heard you say that Salamita is being very generous. And I was a bit surprised to hear you say that. Um, and I want to ask you, is this the same Salamita that the government is not satisfied with the operation currently? Or is this a different company that now you're saying that they're being generous? So if they're being generous and doing this $1.5 million project, is it is it? okay for me to say that the government is satisfied with all the work they've done in the old Liberian government, nothing? Oh, let me qualify my statement. Generous Thank you. in the context of the implementation of this. Let me qualify that. I am now holistically green as a metal. I'm saying they are generous on this particular agreement that they have signed with the government of Liberia to do an $8.5 million projects in the the three counties. Uh, My statement was attributed to a discussion that uh, government doesn't have a whole portion of the uh, 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 money, the 40% to fund the three projects, and Asala is agreeing to, to, to to front low government portion, and then later government will come and pay. Uh, so that's 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 what I was speaking to. Not the total operation of Asala in the country. No. All right, Stanton. Uh... Senator, uh, thank you very much, Glenny. Senator, let, let, let's just you know it's good to have you, and I hope that you can come in studio. Um, folks really want to ask you some questions. The total amount for this park is how much? It's $1.5 million. $1.5 million. $1.5. That's the total amount. Was the, yeah. land, was the land given to the county or lease? Yes. No, the land, oh, the land going to be given to the county. We did the arrangement already. The land authority going to be moving in on Monday to do the survey of the 10. The two guys, the, the, the county, did the county buy the land? They are giving it to us. The family going to give us a land. Freely. I'm being very frank with you. Yeah, the county going to donate the land to us. Is the land owned by the, a the politician? Family, sorry, the family. The, no, no. I think you saw uh, a gentleman in the, uh, uh, standing right by me. and uh, um, That's why I said the photographer. But the land owner was also on the on the site today. And okay. great so all of the so all of the say, look, we want this development. Yes. So all of the so it's going to be deeded in the county name. So all of the eight point five, uh, Bond County going to get one point five for the park. Am I correct? Yes. 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 Okay. Initially, initially, it's going to move to ten because uh, Nima will have another park and two. It's going to move to ten. Ten million dollars. So the total cost for the park is one point five. Yes. Okay. The unemployment rate is so high in Bond County. What confusing people? Why not we get into industry? Why not we create a factory? Why not we turn the money over? So if you are saying, well, you guys have already, you've met it there, can you change it? Can it be changed? Uh, at this point in time, you know, Mita is always here. And on our own, we have our social contribution coming from Metal and China New York. Uh, we could look in other direction, uh, 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 Stempton. So uh, you don't want to change something that is almost at an executing point. I just told you the, the contractor has been awarded the contract, uh, clearing, supposed to be starting early next week. 
So, who, so who's, a, who, who's, yes. who's the contractor? Uh, I saw a very tall fellow. Uh, What's the company uh, name? Honorable. No, I have to find the detail. But I was told by Honorable Sele that the guy that accompanied that, that drove behind him, the least uh, uh, executive director, that he was the guy that won the contract. His company won the contract. Is that the same BMC you think? Mm, mm, no, no. I'm, I'm not, I didn't, Is that Labro own? Oh, okay, so I can find it all. And when I come back, uh, I, will, I will have more detail. I don't want to say something that is not factual. So, how many uh, how many Brown County residents would this park hire to work? You Thank think? you. Oh, it's going to be it's going to it's going to we'll have more more people working more because the park will have different facilities, a sport piece, uh, different facilities, and like I said, the county on her own based on what the stakeholders, the local administration uh, have decided to, to to see in that park. I'm sure that uh, a hotel and other housing facility will be there, will be built by the county also. And that's going to be an income generating area for the county. So it's not only a park, Dualu. We're talking about hotel and what and what else? Housing unit, housing unit for for so, uh, uh, one point five, you say that you will have horsing on unit one, and hotel. Yes, yes. On a one, a, on a one point five, I don't think. Because, yes, sir. Yeah, it's a big land space, and I think the county could invest to serve as an income generating arm um, of, of 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 the county also. So it's not going to be only the park. Bong is centrally located, like I said. We may have. Uh, uh, the national team trying to stay out of Monrovia uh, for some crucial match. They may be there practicing and lodging, and other teams that will come in the country. So, how can you? I'll ask my last question, right. Senator, because you know I just invited you to talk on about this thing. But I really, really want to ask this, and I think do I get one last question? I see him leaning mm -hmm. in. How can you explain to the school girl, the school boy in Bon County today? that I will build you a park while you sit on the floor. I will build you a park while your teacher have not gotten paid. I will build you a park where there is no library. I will build you a park where there is no clinic. I want you to sell this to Bon County residents, sir. They are set up meter we are talking about today. They've been there forever, right? They can make the decision, they can decide, listen, Liberia is our country, and we can tell them exactly where we want that money to go. How can you sell this to a student, to a father that is unemployed, to a mother that is sitting home and she's unemployed? How can you sell this to your resident, uh, Senator Moi? It can only be sold perfectly um, uh, when the reverse is done on all of what you said. Uh, given what we have currently, uh, mm. it doesn't make sense uh, that the case will be sitting on the floor. And then they would they would choose a part over uh, building benches for them in the classroom or armchair. Uh, it would be naive that a volunteer teacher goes to work, he doesn't take pay, he teaching children, and then you talking about building a park. So that's why you see the new administration uh, trying to clean up all the different uh, mess uh, and, and 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 ensuring the Minister has begun a tour of the southeastern side. I'm told that tour will take up to the central region uh, very soon. Uh, uh, you see the Minister of Health uh, moving. So all the major institutions that have a direct link to providing social services and benefit to our, our people, uh, this government is under obligation to to have them functional so that those serv service delivery can be Timely. That's the only way uh, the power will be of significant potential to uh, some of the young kids that, w that will want to go there. So, we, first thing first, uh, while the power is under construction, uh, government institutions will now begin to do those things that are required for the different facilities to have. And we are very strong on that. 
that's why this budget, uh, we're going to be looking at it keenly. Uh, revenue hearing begins on Monday, and additional revenue realized uh, will be, again, used to fund some of the institutions that are underfunded. To, 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 I, I agree with you, Mr. Senator Boyi, and again, uh, just for a, a good reason, I can tell everyone, uh, you, you answer all of my calls, we talk every time. I, I agree with what you are saying. We beat George Manor, we are on park issue. He built parks, he turned his back on the folks, the babies that sat in true gum and candy between cars. He built parks as a legacy. We beat him on it. If year comes 2029, students are sitting on the floor, teachers not getting paid. There is no clinic in Bond County. The hospital is in the bad condition. And the folks looking on park, can you tell the people of Bond County not to re-elect you? On this condition, I will, be, I will be. I will be number one. Definitely, I will say that. Same thing. You will say why? You, you will say why? You will say why? I will tell them they should not vote for me. To be quite frank, okay. If I will have to go into any election, I took a whole vice president from this county, and I'm on a yes. Senator Mui, all of us said the CDC led government, who is the vice president, was part of. They didn't do. So that's why I'm not I'm not all over the place just uh, causing noise. I'm focused uh, ensuring that those things that we said will be done, will change, will be changed. And I can assure you that. I can assure you that. I can assure you that. We're not gonna let anything slide. We're not gonna let anything, I mean, just just go on like that. On my own executive agents, ministers, commissioners. We will be very tough. There's something, there's a commitment we made. These are promises we made. And we're gonna change them around. So we cannot come and, and talking about part when case will be sitting and you know the next school year on the floor, uh, buildings will be leaking everywhere, uh, uh, hospitals will be giving the same prescription, uh, clinics will not have adequate drugs in it in them to serve baby moms and other people that go there. It's unacceptable that we can we can we can we can fathom even something of that nature. I'll be Senator, very Senator, Senator so, my thank you. Senator my final question. Thank you so much for actually coming and listening to us. But Senator let me just say this to you. If I were to tell you that I can give you a plan and that plan would take the 1.5 million dollars we will have a wheelbarrow factory in Bond County and I see on that same roof, we'll be making shovels, we'll be making rubber maids, copa pots that we can sell to local market. And in five years, we still build a park. Will you consider it? And I I consider it. So can I put a plan together and send it to you, Senator? Put a, put a plan together. That's why uh, uh, Dwalo, the local government, I is 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 is, is now beginning to be implemented. And that I is very clear. We 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 we're going to be um giving power is 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 giving some of our power uh, the devolution of the, some of our power to the locals that's why you see now the county council uh going to be taking major development decision uh, so it means that politician hands are off that's why you're going to have a county development office that will plan our development agenda and that agenda will be implemented by the council each time the council the council sits so it's a very good plan uh, we're not going to do the normal political projects you get because uh, i want to be somebody 2020 2021 20, 30 then i start to put projects to where people would not need it as the question they asked whether the citizen had a say in this uh sport party and i was very clear that <laughs> we saw it and we can't let it go we can't renegotiate it we just have to ensure that it happens and then build uh, institutions around it that will make it viable to bring income to the county. So, yes, Dwalo, if you have a plan, that's something we can say to our different county that will be sitting based on what we have. We can move into that. Yes, Senator. So, what I'm going to do is I will personally deliver it to your office by the 22nd. 
It'll be a plan that'll put at least 200 men to work with a $1.5 million. I'll be permanent job. This is not one time job. If I ever, ever have my job, then we can still build a park in five years. If it's plan work, put the men to work. I'll be in your office on the 22nd. I just wanted to, I wanted to ask the Senator one question real quick. Senator Moi, this is Fatima again. Just one, one quick question. Senator Moi, um, with the truck, uh, pandemic in like with the drug pandemic, I just wanted to find out is there any drug issue going in Liberia? And have we considered a rehab center in Bonn County since, since it's centrally located? Oh, well, we have this interministerial uh tax force. I think the president has uh, commissioned a tax force uh, that comprised of uh, gender, I think so, and the DA. So they are planning on. First, establishing the, the 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 first big center, I think, is going to be in Bentor, and then subsequently, uh, based on the number of prices in the different counties, they may they may they may choose to put one in the central part of the country, you know, for rehabilitation purpose. But I'm told the initial one will be at Bentor, where they have a new facilities that have been uh, unutilized. Uh, so I think that's that's the first thing. All we need to do is to fund that tax force, to fund it through the national budget so that they are adequately prepared to get the uh, kids off the street and not only getting them off, but they should have some other training facility. I'm sure the Minister of Youth and Sports, that will the, the TVET component, I mean, that department that has to do with training and other stuff, uh, they are all part of that uh, 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 tax force. But is that uh, also the thank you. Thank you. Is that a drug are, problem in that, Bank so, let me make that the last question, Fatima, please. Well, I just want to know, is there a drug Go ahead. I was ask you. Moi, is there a drug problem uh, in like three months in, in Bonn County? Serious oh, one. Serious one. If you have been so here or you. you were here in the 80s, in the 90s, there's, there's this place they call the uh, United Methodist uh, 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 Mission. That mission has been abandoned by the, the, the United Methodist Church. So the, uh, the the old structures that are there, that's the biggest hub. I mean, that's the biggest hub of the, uh, 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 of, of the quote unquote, the, the, the Zucos. I mean, I mean, we, we don't like to use that word, but that's what we had in recent, recent times. So yes, to answer your question, Bon has a serious problem uh, with, 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 with with, with those as, uh, from drugs addiction. Serious, serious problem. Our Honorable Prince Moi, we want to say thank you very much for joining this phone, especially when we saw the project uh, pictures, uh, we decided to call you. And as always, you come on Spoon Talk and tell exactly what you intend Bond County should be heading to and how you intend to help Liberia at large. We want to say thank you, uh, Senator Prince Moi yeah, from Bond County. It. You always welcome. Thank you, sir. All right. So, uh, thanks to Senator Prince Moyi. A good, good, good interview. Uh, uh, we got uh, Warren Traverso and his team in the back. Well, guys, let's talk on this thing. Uh, as much as we ask our question, let me tell you what I stand, Dr. Richard C. and team. Welcome mm -hmm. to the show, Colonel Gray. I do believe that, uh, thank God, that Duaru said I'm going to submit a plan. But, Duaru, I can tell you, we got a song we sing in the church. I got my mind made up and I won't turn back. That's it. Because I want to see my Jesus someday. Someday. He has the mind made up. That's it. I think they're going to try to see whether it will help one country. Yeah. I think you can submit that plan. But once they have gotten in contract with bidders and contract with yes, uh, other folks, I think the issue of the 1.5 to build a park, they, they, they get their key to it. But one thing, the people of Bond County just listened to the senator. Yes. He said, if we build this park, hmm, and your children stay sitting on the floor, don't vote for me. If we build this park, and your clinic got no medication, don't vote for me. If we build this park, and your husband and wives, and you know, sitting home, no job, they are on the floor, don't vote for me. For six years, the senator have put himself on the line. And people right now are going to cut that cake that they want to know whether the senator means business. We beat on President George Manawiak that you're making part of his legacy. It's beautiful to PHP, but the people were still in 
poverty that we have never seen before. So I hope what is not saying that he made business. Tell the second real quick, guys, and we'll yeah, okay. also. Yeah, somebody asked me, say, where are you going to get a mineral from to do this, guys? <laughs> Most of the information is out there now. To make a wheelbarrow, you just need a press. In most instances, I wanted to go to YouTube and watch some of these videos. I, I was fortunate to visit Calcutta, India. The people are performing magic. Shovel is not a complicated thing. They have those sheep, those sheets in Liberia. You can input your own sheep and press the, the shovel into form. You can make copal. The copal is in so no iron part. We call them mandingo part. They melt the thing. It's very, very simple. Go to Calcutta and you see your whole factory for less than 50000 out of making things that you would not even imagine. Rubber made. You can set up entire process less than hundred thousand dollars. So I will put a plan together. If they, if they say they don't consider it, I will publish it. Let people take a look at it because I want to see what is possible. What is possible with one point five million dollars? And take a look at it for yourself. To make sure you don't need to smelt iron. The iron is pre-made. You can order them and press them. We can make we buy our red in Liberia. If we can make a tire here, yeah, we can import the tire and assemble them. It's the beginning process. Over time, we can gradually evolve the process. But in the meantime, 200 men working. Now, my whole thing, we can say we brought this alone to us too. Colonel Gray, welcome. Yeah, um, I, 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 I appreciate all of us on this show trying to convince the senator to please reconsider his decision. Um, and I hope he does. I, I, my for that is very low. But, you know, he was using the fact that he already contracted people to clear the land so that he couldn't kind of renege on that contract right now. But I, I, if I was a resident of Bond County, I would actually appreciate him even more if he came back to me and said, listen, you know, I talked to the contractors and I explained to them that um, it's important for us to have a factory or another, uh, you know, another job producing uh, entity as opposed to just I mean, a part would produce jobs, but maybe not as significantly as a factory or another entity. Um, I, I think I would be even happier. And I, I somehow feel that the contractors should understand. I mean, this is for Liberia. This is for the people in their, uh, their, their community. So I hope that he reconsiders our, our situation. I was surprised that, you know, before you even begin to make these major, major decisions about bringing business or a park to a community, then at least you get an inventory done as to how many people it will impact, you know, a job, like a projection for a job in 2024, 2025, 2026, the income generation that it generated, income generated from the job that it will bring. I was surprised that I felt like none of that was done because I, I know somebody asked the question, do you even speak to the people in the community? And he said he, he apologized for them not even being involved. But again, I want to thank him for being honest and, and, and trying, you know, to be a good representative, I mean, a good senator for the people of Bond County. You know, he, he's tried that, all I can say. Thank you. So I, I think also, even though the land is free, I, I just think it's, I just feel bad that you're not even, the first major project, you're not even involving the people in the community. You're not asking them. And we're, re we're relying on the fact that, oh, it's free, and I Salamata is being generous in the fact that they're saying that they this is the same Salamata we're talking about that owes the government so much money, the same company who has not been fair to Liberians. And, and Senator Moy is, is saying like, I mean, even if the deal was signed before, this is a company that you know that the government has a problem with. So how difficult would it be to, to relook at that contract to, uh, and draft a new MOU, something that the citizens want, something that would benefit? I understand maybe in the long run, the park will give a better face value to the county and all of that. But what is the, the, the what's, what's most ne needed now in Bond County? Go to Phoebe Hospital. Are they even able to meet the needs of the people that are sick in the community? I was, I'm from Cottington. So Phoebe has been the only hospital for years. They haven't, I mean, it's still the same. And you have $1.5 million. Uh, yes, we understand they want to do the park and the contract is signed and all of that. But if they were really interested in what, what was necessary for the community and what the community dwellers were saying, they will be able to change that contract to benefit a larger group of the of the population in Bond County. 
and not just be con concerned about tourists coming and people seeing state of the art and all of that. That's not what's necessary. Thank you. Go ahead, Fatima. The thing about it that I liked most about um, Senator Moi was that, and this government is, uh, uh, is that they're listening. I could see hesitation in his voice when we started asking him questions. The reason why I asked about the drug issue was because I know that drug has taken over all of West Africa and almost all over the world. And if you were even thinking about building a rehab center where people could live, you know, because Morovia is overly populated, people can come and have, you know, the young children that are in being arrested for drugs issue, they need treatment, sending them over there, making sure that they went for treatment. If you even invested some of that money to rehab center to put our people to work, people will be there cooking for them. They will get paid. I mean, if you open and build housing for our poor people or do something like that, that's what I was thinking about, about thinking about a park right now when you said that not even a third of our people in Bond County are employed. That is, is just the priorities at this point is just not in the right place. They are not putting things in perspective right now. So that's why I'm glad that he said, you know, he accepted some of the things that we said. He said, Dwaru should bring the proposal and maybe they will put our people to work because you put up a, a child or father to work. The child will be running. Papa will come home with plastic bear every day. Papa will come with candy and the children will appreciate Papa and respect him. And I'm letting little girls go out in the street to go sell themselves to get money because their parents cannot afford. You're making a child to grow before their time. So I think he should reconsider. I think he's listening. Hope our president is listening too. That money should not go to part. It should go to making sure our people will go to work. Thank you. Well, Colonel Gray, you, you may say interview, but it's good to have you. Where park business coming from in Labrador? And our people are saying job, job, jobs. You know, I agree with you, man. I, I don't know the economic impact of a park. Um, you know, these kinds of cultures sometimes we feel that we can borrow almost everything and try to infuse it into our own way of life. Uh, a park is 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 in my in my opinion. I don't know if it's if it's a, an African um, idea, um, but anything that would not yield economic return um you know a mass or to attract people to to even migrate towards that that end of the of the country i would say uh, don't waste your time because you'll just be another landmark that people will just go in and carry on things that are undesirable he's talking about an abandoned hospital or facility being uh, he call it. He calls it the hub of um, of drug use, or or you know drug facilitation. So a park that is not occupied most of the time would be another landmark to ex, you know by extension of that of that uh, drug culture. So probably as uh, Fatima has suggested. Um, build something that people will go to every day to work. And since we have this drug taking over our country, I think um, you can you can build a site to rehabilitate people. You know, uh, Bonk County is a mid is a mid county. It, I mean, annexing so many other uh, areas in the country. So if we have that kind of facility situated there, uh, I think it will it will attract more more economic, um, you know, power than than the thing that a park would do it. Um, this concept brought by Mr. Uh, Weir, President Weir, uh, you know, may have been seen in Senegal and work well there, but PHP right now is there. But look at the surrounding. I don't know the economic impact of those parks. Uh, I just, 
when I was in Liberia, passed by the one uh, on the airfield there, <laughs> it's a dead spot. Uh, so I, I don't know. I don't know the impact, my brother. Uh, it, it's good that you probably guys gave me some suggestion. And I heard um, Dwalu was talking about factory or some manufacturing inside and stuff. So I think those are laudable ideas. We all said it. One thing they're listening to us will become this uh, spot that people can always find their idea being critiqued or, you know, some good suggestions. And, and I'm glad that uh, the senator was able to come here today and probably will have a rethought. He will go back and say, you know what? <laughs> you know, Spoon gave me some idea. And, and if, he's, if he's listening, um, you know, then he will go to work. Otherwise, if he's stubborn, it will just go and be another thing like President Weir, where it becomes insolvent, insignificant, and nobody is benefiting from it. I, I'm, the only thing he attached there that, that I wanted to do, that drew my attention a little bit, he's talking about tourism. Well, I'm sure Bunk County has some beautiful landmarks that you can you can enhance. Uh, people will go to, but you have to have the road network. I don't know if, if those guys. So we want to build something that will have economic impact immediately for the county. Thank you. Uh -oh. Folks, I know we have uh, one friend of ours, Francis Tyler. Uh, I think the name is Kamati uh, there. Uh, we'll be bringing them on. But I just want to talk about uh, facing wheelbarrow and shovel. I want us to play that just on a two, two minutes real quick. Uh, let people see exactly what's happening. So Dama, if you can help us uh, bring it up, let's play. Building a park is not a bad thing when you have a country that people work in. Jobs are available. Children going to school, having research, eating, after school programs, the clinic, receiving patients, hospital, LDC is in the country. You can build those kind of things and people will love it. We have rest, spot, rest stop all around here. When you're traveling from one state to another, you can take your coffee break stop to the rest stop, you know, and you just chill after you rest and you move on. But under these conditions, in China, people are saying the children go to school for six days, different activities, technical institution, babies are learning different things, and we are yet telling children to go to the park. Those parks now changing to be the boyfriend and girlfriend, and you know, camping spot. So let's play this. Uh, again, we have no right to this, but we want to share for our viewers' sake. Go ahead, Dama. Thank you very much, Dama. Thank, thanks a lot. Uh, uh, do I know oh, they got under 1.5? But understand the senator said they will be bringing in hotel and uh, be bringing yeah. in uh, all the stuff. Uh, that's a yeah. whole fat trick you see over no, there. No, no, no. Let, me, let me say this to you. You say 1.5. Most of the pressing machine over there, 10,000, 5,000 for some of those machines. The, the, the actual metal they use to, to form the wheelbarrow shape. Those, those press, they got an actual press for it, $7,000 for those press. Most of the work is done by hand. So you have about five men just working over there. Our five yeah. men probably over 10, 15 we borrow probably every single day. So if you can elongate a facility, you can take 200000 and build a massive big box of, of factory. So every section, you get another 10, 20 men, 10, 20 men. Now, guess when the we borrow side? And our same press can make the same shovel with our same thing. It's the same thing they're bringing to Liberia. 
That entire place you can set that place up. It looks like a hell of a place. And most of the places run on generators. They run out of 20, 30,000 out of generator from the back to create those press. But guess what? The job is not temporary. It's permanent. Because we are importing the wheel barrel that comes to La Brooke embedded. Okay. I think I've gone through almost 50 wheel barrels since I started building my project. The wheel barrel don't last long. The wheel barrel they bring into the country, they're very cheap. They sell them for about $40, $45. If I want to bring them to La Brooke, they got to put steroid around them again. So why you can take the $1.5 million, you build something like that. You're not manufacturing anything. You're just taking the material that's already in country, and then you're cutting it into foam. And then you're building wheelbarrows. You're building shovels. They get something you can build. You can import the alley. You can you get a mold. They build a pot. No pot in against saying really. You can build it and stencil made in Liberia on them. $1.5 million can do that. I will put it together. I will give it to him. You can see it by himself. Thank you, Duardo. Thank you very much, folks. Again, this is Labro we are talking about. A little here, a little there, you know, we can help change Liberia. Wherever you are, you understand that we'll be having a meeting today that is called by Duadu, you know, to discuss the issue of the way forward on some great investment. After this meeting, then we'll have another meeting that we invite everyone, and then we can have your input. We want to say thanks for joining Spoon Talk on the first conversation with Prince Moe. We'll now bring in one for Russell. Uh, yes, people can go to YouTube and check out making wheelbarrows and again watch video for themselves. Show yeah. wheelbarrows and watch it for themselves. Yeah, let me bring in uh one for Russell. Thank you for joining us. It's good to have you, sir. How you doing? I'm doing great. And I've been in the back there uh, listening and watching uh the conversation. And I must tell you that I'm a stakeholder. So I'll just chime in. I know we came here for a particular purpose, uh, uh, but I I have roots in uh, uh, roots in Flela, uh, which is um, also Lower Bunk, uh, uh, Bunk County, and I was on the um, I was on the radio last night in Toruta from Toruta. So listening to Prince Moi talk, um, and I mean brilliant. Uh, points and, and and contribution that you all have made, uh, Mr. Dwalu at the, the, the factory. I think that's an awesome idea. But this is not a zero sum game. I think building a park in in Bang County in Banga, I think that's a beautiful idea. So not only do I come to this from uh, someone who uh, is a stakeholder because I have roots there. And, you know, I go to uh, to Florida, the Bang County every time I I'm in Liberia. Uh, but someone who served on my city planning commission for many years, uh, we got six acres of land at Brooklyn Park uh, uh, were given to us by the city of Kakata to build a park in Kakata. And uh, as small as our, our city is, uh, we have about 60 parks. And Stanton, I understand your, your point, but this is not a zero-sum game. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there is a place for this in uh, in um, uh, 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 Colonel Gray talked about, I mean, he was questioning or trying to find out if, this, if there's an economic impact. It's a huge economic impact. Parks have a huge economic impact. You know, I know that for a fact, I work in this space, I've had proof parks and building of parks. I disagree with um, the, uh, the park that George Ria put at uh, the, the airport, I think it was wrong. Uh, it, it, should, it, should, it should be dismantled. Uh, it shouldn't be there, uh, uh, especially at a, at a feeder airport uh, like uh, James Spixfield. But the other parks um, uh, that, that he put, that, or a park that he put out there, I think it's a brilliant idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. We had a very, uh, a very depressed part of uh, Brooklyn Park here, where a lot of minority lives, a lot of, uh, a lot of all folks live. And one of the things we did and, and you know, and we revamped and built a park and all of that. I mean, that that in itself, uh, Doctor Doctor Richardson, that is is therapeutic. So to just discount and dismiss the park, I mean, we hire a lot of people. Uh, let, let me ask a question. Uh, let me ask a question, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Russell. Uh, thank you for joining us. Oh, uh, you are in Minnesota. How's the school system in Minnesota? The school system is 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 great and. As, as I've said before, majority of the students who attend uh, our school district here, uh, uh, many of those students are of Liberian immigrant stock. 
Uh, how much your teacher get paid in Minnesota? I don't know off the top of my head, but they get paid. How many schools do you have? How many school do you have in Brooklyn Park? Uh, in Brooklyn Park, in the Osseo School District, uh, we have uh, maybe 26 to 30 schools. Okay. How many clinics? How many hospitals? We have one mental health hospital. We have uh, about two clinics. How many schools are there in Bonn County right now? I don't know. All, I don't know the top of my head. How many oh, mental you know, health? No, 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 no. Hold on, now. hold on, sir. How many? How many mental health facilities in Bonn County right now? Uh, I, I, how many refer hospital in Bonn County right now? And this is our problem, sir. Mm -hmm. We are not saying park is a bad thing. We love it. It's good. But will you prioritize? Park at this time when children sitting on the floor, when teachers. I mean, you can do both at the same time, time and park is no, not no, no, expensive no. to put together. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just asking you. Mm -hmm. You just took over as a new government. Mm -hmm. What would be your priority right now for the people of Bon County? I mean, I, I, I disagree with the point where I think Glendy asked where the, I mean, the way we do things here. I mean, we involve uh, the, the community, uh, but the projects that we design, those projects are informed by the, the community. I mean, there is always a community benefit agreement. So that 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 one, I, I disagree. My, 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 my main point, Stanton, was just the overall, what seemed to be an overall knockdown uh, of the park because there's a huge economic impact. You know, Central Park in New York, for example, that you know very well, okay? It's about eight, 840 acres or so. Okay, and Central Park brings in about a billion dollars every year. I and know again, we will, and again, we will go there, Congressman, before we talk about what we want to talk about. We will go there by saying to you, we love it. It's a good thing. But before you came to you, the United States, those huh? things were in existence. Those things were moving before you and myself came here. It will be moving because you know what, through the city, through the through the district, through the county, through the state, through the federal, everybody chipping in. What we are saying right now, you have your first 1.5 from a set up the top. Can you fight for student to benefit? No library. Can you fight for student to benefit? Can you fight for the teachers to benefit? Can you fight for those nurses to benefit? That's what we are saying. We are not saying it's a bad idea, but it's good to have you. I don't want to be on you because you. I'm really coming from the other side of the aisle. Yeah. It's good to have you, you know. Uh, talk to us today. I know we are seeing some of your folks in the back. I will bring them on. I want to hear from you first. Where are we right now with your with your dream of going into Congress? Thank you, uh, Stanton and Spoon family and uh, uh, everyone uh, listening and, and watching us. So where we are now in the process is that we are going to the convention. We had the caucuses and you all helped us Greatly, honestly, greatly, you helped us in driving traffic uh, to uh, the caucuses where people register to become delegates. They have uh, since registered uh, as delegates, and now they'll go into the convention. So only the delegates, only those who register on February 27th will be allowed to vote uh, during the convention, uh, which is next week, Saturday, uh, April the 13th. So that's where we are now. We're, we're here to try to talk to as many folks as possible uh, who have registered uh, to tell them how important it is um, that they show up during the convention and vote for us as the delegates that they signed up uh, to vote for. Okay, and the next one, you say what date? Your date coming up? It's April the 13th. Oh, wow, next week? Yes, next, That'll be next, next week, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, yeah, next Saturday. Yeah. So that, that so, so that's why our presence on Spoon today is uh, is very timely, and, yeah. and, and 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 very appreciative. What you want? To, what you want, folks in, in your area to do right now? Talk to them about next week Saturday. Yes, um, it's it's going to be a long day, and it's part of the democratic process. I know for many of our people, this is new, but this is this is the process that we have here, and. Um, what we want uh, people to do that all of those who registered as delegates and even if you've not registered to please turn out 
on Saturday. That's next Saturday, April the 13th at the Northview Middle School in Brooklyn Park uh, on 69 and Zane. From 8 a.m. until 2 p.m., we will be there for the convention. And that's where folks will be voting to uh, uh, declare who who becomes uh, the Democratic Party endorsed candidate. So I'm trying to get the, the Democratic Party endorsement. And so that's the process that we have to go through uh, to get the endorsement. Let me go ahead and, and open and open uh, the floor right now. Welcome to the show, Francine Tyler. How you doing? You're muted, Francine. You're muted. Can we unmute you? I think you guys control that. Okay. You you are. Who are you to this campaign? How are you, Stanton? How, 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 how do you call my name like you know me so? Stanton, you know I don't know you. Come oh, on. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you all for having me. It's nice to be here. Um, I am Frances Tyler. I am the company manager for Winfrey Okay, welcome. Welcome. We got another another gentleman in the back. Let me bring him. I hope he's not driving. Come at it. Dan, how you doing? Driving. Yeah, no, I'm not driving. I'm parked. Uh okay. thank you. The, the name is Kamati Dan. Uh Thank, thank you very much, Stanton. I hope you don't say I know you personally. I, 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 I'm not a CWA alone. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, thank you very much, Stanton. I hope you don't ask me what I know you personally. But apparently, you have become a hostile me in the Liberian diaspora community. Uh, I'm glad to be on the show. I am the executive director of the Liberian community in Minnesota. Thank you very much. So let, let's listen. The rest of the show, we're going to give it to you guys for us to talk more about Winfrey Russell and the way, his way to Congress. So I'm going to bring this in through, I will leave Winfrey Russell causing Dr. Chinua Richardson, his auntie, Blandy, and this is like a family reunion of Dwali. So let me start with you, Dwali, then we'll go to Fatima. Oh, Dwali, check out. Dwali, let me start with you, then yeah. we'll go to Fatima. Can you unmute, please? Yeah, Mr. Russell, welcome to the show. And Thank while you. Congress, let me just be simple. Well, I, um, I, we need representation. Uh, representation is key. Um, uh, but uh, this, uh, this is, you know, uh, uh, we have the largest uh, 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 population of diasporic Liberians in Minnesota, and we don't have a seat at the table. And uh, I have been um, in the community. Uh, I serve the community. I serve uh, in, in an elected position in the community. And so I decided to put my name in the hat because the guy who uh, holds it, currently holds this seat, is retiring and uh, saying that we don't have representation and it matters that we are at the table at such a large number and we have such a, uh, a huge um, population. Our, our economic base alone, uh, not in the entire state, but just in my region and in my district is about $2 billion, $2 billion US dollars. So we are very significant uh, part of the of the economy here uh, and of the culture as well. I think I, I, I spoke to you all earlier. I mentioned the fact that we constitute the largest uh, 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 group uh, among students, you know, at the at the at the school district here, uh, one of the largest school districts in the state of, of Minnesota. So all of that, you know, we we uh, we need someone at the table who who will represent our interests, who will seek, uh, you know, uh, the need of our, of our people. And not only here, but also in, in, uh, in, in Liberia. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm just a vessel uh, for the community to gain access and resources. Okay, thank you so much. I don't disagree with you. I believe we need a seat at the table. And I'm going to say that I'm glad you said $2 billion in Minnesota alone. When I say we have a capitalization in this country north of twenty billion dollars, people say, "Oh, do I have money too much?" But I want to ask you a question: How realistic are your chances without any fluffs or any kind? How realistic are your chances? My chances are very good. Uh, 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 realistically, we we stand a very good chance, and and I'm I'm, I'm not going to say this, and I'm sure the uh, the other two uh, two guests, uh, Frances and and Kamadi, uh, 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 will agree with me, but. We, we, um, we were very hesitant, and I will tell you, even uh, my uh, 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 my guy there, who is the head of the of the Liberian community here, uh, Kamari, he said, "Man, you know, 
I'm not too sure about this one, you know, because I spent a lot of time in, in Liberia during the election, you know, um, uh, during that whole period from, from October all the way to February. And so I had not been putting a lot of work into the campaign. I mean, folks knew that I was thinking about running and all of that. I had it announced, actually, because I announced at Rick's Institute Alumni Association Ball last year. But I had not done a lot of work. So a lot of folks would say, well, you know, you know, um, I don't know about this time. And this this other candidate was just out there and talking to, you know, to everyone and doing everything. He had all his social media presence and all of that. But so literally 48 hours, things turned around. Things turned around 48 hours were outdoor knocking and campaigning when I sent a message to, to Stanton and said, man, you know, uh, because uh, someone had said to, to us, why are you guys not on Spoon? And I said, oh, you know, but Stanton, my guy, reach out to Stanton. So I reached out to Stanton. I be, I didn't think he was going to, re- to, you were going to respond because it was such a short notice. And I am telling you, Dwalu, we got on, on, on Spoon. I think it was the what was it what was it the day before I think it was either the day before or a couple of days before and that was it we overwhelmed that place by like you know 5 to 1 like we showed up from all over the place you know and 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 so that really you know that momentum that we that we that we went to the that, that was the the caucuses I mean during the during the caucus on February 27th that we show up, and then we, we we saw when people got to to know that hey, you know, uh, we have someone from another community, uh, a, a Kenyan immigrant who is coming into Brooklyn Park, who just moved to Brooklyn Park, and Brooklyn Park is our base, you know, throughout, uh, you know, the the diaspora and in the country. I mean, Brooklyn Park is the base. I mean, Minnesota, we we have a large number in Minnesota, but primarily concentrated in Brooklyn Park. So those folks showed up. And it's like, nah, we're not going to allow someone to come in here and, and, and you know, and, and win and win over us. And so people just showed up. So that mm-hmm. momentum, we're still riding that momentum that was fueled by our presence on Spoon and, 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 and the churches and uh, the, the mosque and the, and the community organization, all the tribal groups and all of you. Mr. 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 Russell, I don't, I don't want to interrupt you, but because we have so many on the show, sure. we appreciate if you can shorten your answers. And Stanton, I have to run away, but I believe Madam Tyler needs a question as well. Are you caught up on this, Madam Tyler? I am. I am caught up on this. Totally. Look, um, I know I'm not a social media person, but I know that I'm, my community needs me. I, 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 as I told people before, I'm a nurse, I'm a business owner. I'm usually stay in my corner and do what I, you know, learn how to do best. But one thing I know is I care about this community and I know my community needs representation. As we first said, we are one of the largest immigrant community in this uh, Minnesota. We are also one of the oldest, if not the oldest uh, community in this uh, uh, Minnesota. Yet we are the least uh, represented. We're represented. We at the least we have no representation, and I cannot stress the importance of representation. I mean, come and see the Somalian skin long after us, and here they are. They are in the House, in the Senate, all the way to Congress, and these people are making strides. They have their own uh, uh, mall. They are doing so well. Why not Liberians? And I tell people the reason why we are not getting all of these assistance and we are not we are not moving up is because we're not we don't have people at the table we don't have a voice at the table when decisions are being made on how resources are distributed in communities it's the people that sit at those tables that watch for the community and if you're not on the menu you can't eat it you know if you're on the menu you get eating if you don't have somebody at the table you're on the menu right you will get eating so you have to have somebody say, look, my community needs this. We need these resources. We need to have this. That's how your community progress. That's how your people get things. But people do not understand how the process works. They think that, you know, the city just um, distribute money or resources across the board equally. No. People have to be on our table to vouch for the community and to get what uh, the community deserves. And I saw that uh, um, my people need, needed that. I saw the absence of representation in our community. And I'm like, you know what? I have to get out of my comfort zone. I have to uh, come out and do stuff. And I think if we all all the, um, do different things, other what we're comfortable with, if we all try to put 
ourselves in the back and put our community forward, we can do better, you know? And, and that's why I took on the challenge. This is not a rule I would have taught for myself, but I just knew that we have to do something and we have, and I had to uh, step up to the plate. Thank you very much. Let me bring in Wendy, Fatima, Connor Gray, and Dr. Richard Singh. Hello, hello everybody. How are you? Good, good. Looking forward to great things happening. I don't have a question for Francis or Winfred because we're pretty familiar. I have a, uh, a question for Mr. Kamade, our leader in Minneapolis, um, the Liberian leader. Um, knowing that Winfred, this is the third time um, for Winfred, I want to hear from you what you're hearing from the Liberian community and whether you're at the point where you're 100, where you're not not 100 percent, but you're guaranteed, uh, and they understand why we must win this in Minnesota this year. All right, thank you very much. Again, uh, I can't overemphasize the importance of this election. Uh, uh, I must first commend again, Stanton and his team, all of you guys. Like Russell said, the last time we were on your show and we vigorously appealed to the Liberian community to show up. You know, the electoral system in the United States, we're not too familiar with it. First of all, we do not like to vote. And the caucus that we went to, the very few people have gone to caucuses I've been there too, myself. Uh, my first caucus was two years ago. But when we make that appeal and your team, including you, Stanton and everybody, and other media outlet, there was a huge difference. Like what Russell said earlier, I was one of those that when I look at the landscape and try to VHS, I call him while you were in Liberia, I was so angry. I'm like, you, you're running to be representative and you stay in Liberia? What's your problem? But again, like he rightly said, that turned out for the caucus, you know, it reinvigorated our spirit and say, you know what? This thing can happen. But more importantly, like you said, you know, this election is crucial to the Liberian community. And if we take for granted this unique chance is two African immigrants going at one another. One of the two African immigrants happens to be a Liberian who have lived in this community for over 18 years and understands his community. To draw the stark contrast, there is the other one who have moved into this community less than six months that does not understand our community, our people to make a proper representation. We are definitely at the brink of an important election that the decision we face with can shape our community for a very long time. Very long time. I say this because I go downtown, we are currently working on a bill for the first time. We as a community organization have been in existence for 48 years. Like Russell said, the impact we have in the economy of Minnesota, just Hennepin County alone, is about $2 billion. There has never been any state budgetary appropriation directed to the Liberian community directly since I can remember. Yet, we have that impact on the economy. We should then ask ourselves, why? You know, so um, it is all of us, you know, all Liberians in the diaspora, those that live in the state of Minnesota, those that live outside of Brooklyn Park, to ask ourselves, what is the alternative? If it's not a Liberian that have worked 
and live in our community for over 18 years and understand our culture, our challenges, and what it means. Did thank you. Ask? Th thank you very much. Uh, let's try, it's seven o'clock right now. You know we got but only 10 more minutes left. I, I want us to speak to the folks in your state and Liberians. Yes. And uh, so let's just try to make it short. Fatima, can you come in? Oh, yes. I was, I was just wondering, you know, when you came in, you were speaking um, about the park and stuff. I was just wondering, I think he answered a little bit. How have you been to, when last were you in Liberia and have you visited Bond counties and Bond County and the other counties, you know, because of the statement that you made comparing a park in New York to that of the park in New Jersey. That was where I thought things did not align. I mean, in Liberia. So I was, you know, just trying to find out. Besides yeah. the prohibition, you know, we all support that, of course. I just want to know when last you went to Liberia and if you visited in various counties and if then you can picture in your mind comparing Central Park to that of a park in, in Bond County. Uh, no, uh, uh, thanks, Fatima. I was not comparing, obviously, I could compare Central Park uh, with the park in, in, in any any park in Liberia, let alone in in Bond County, uh, but to answer your question more more directly, yes, I'm a I'm a frequent visitor, uh, in, um, in uh, to Liberia. Um, recently, was in you know Bond. Whenever I go to to Liberia, I go to Bond County, and I'm very familiar with the geography, the topography of the area. I'm in this space, uh, uh, city planning, you know. Uh, Parks, administ you know, all of these sort of stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very familiar with, with all of them, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm a regular visitor. I mean, from the southeast to uh, to uh, to Nima, I have roots in Nima too. Where I grew up in Ganta, so I, you know, so I, I understand the landscape pretty well. Yeah, because I will, I will, you know, if you visit a library recently, my the, the 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 thing that I wanted you to understand is that our children are dying from drugs, our people are impoverished. They are very, very, you know, women are barely making it. The family is being destroyed because children cannot even afford to go to school, most of them selling on the streets. And then we are thinking about building a park in Bone County. That can be done. I'm not against it. But what I think we need to focus on, you know, was making sure that our children are sitting on benches and being educated, that there was medication in the hospital because... I think the U.S. ambassador said he made a tour last year, and there was no medication in Phoebe Hospital. There were medication in the hospital. I just wanted things to be prioritized, so that's what I was thinking about. But I, you know, I always wish you well. I wish you the very best, and I hope that you guys get to win for Liberia because a win for you is a win for Liberia. It's a it's a win for our people in Minnesota. You will speak on their behalf, um, and you make sure that things happen for them, especially those who need help with in-kind benefits and that of, you know, immigration statuses of all aspects of their lives. So I pray and we will propagate your message to ensure that you win. But, you know, also remember Liberia, because as you say, you visited, our country is in dire need. It's just a statement. Thank you. Yes, uh, uh, thanks, uh, Fatima. I, you know, I, I can't, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I, you know, I don't know if you're aware, but I'm a Public health uh, practitioner who works in the United States, and I, I continue to uh, to work uh, in uh, um, on um, delivering vaccines and medication to uh, clinics and hospitals and all around the country. So that's stuff that I will continue to do, and that's one of the, one of the the beauty of of this. And you know, you're telling you're telling folks, like you said, I mean, it's a win not just for for us here in Minnesota, but uh, we we can leverage our 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 positions here, and I've been able to leverage my positions here, whether it's on the council or my connections with uh, you know uh, senators and then other in, in DC. Uh, we were very very uh, instrumental in ensuring that Liberians, not just in Minnesota, across the United States, were able to get their, their citizenship uh, because of efforts that we were at the forefront of a lot of those uh, those efforts. So yes, so there's um there's, there's no question about it. A win for us is not just a win for uh, for uh, Liberians, but Liberian uh, throughout the diaspora and in the country too, as well. 
Thank you, Colonel Green. You know, uh, Councilman Russell, thank you for biting the bullet because, um, uh, you know, this uh, is an upliftment for us. Every time I see in the ballot, uh, you are endearing, which is uh, a bold move. Uh, most of us uh, see those kinds of height unreachable, but um, you always um, brief, brace yourself for uh, these kinds of challenges. I wanted to ask you one question first before going further. What's the what's the budget of Brooklyn Park? Uh, uh, budget at the top of my head is about uh, seventy. Uh, say it's about eighty million dollars now, and over ha and uh, uh, half of that is is police about fifty million. Uh, given tickets is. Uh, uh, but it's for police but it's about it's about 80 about 80 some million dollars i thought it was way more but uh you've emphasized that the the other uh, the focus is on public safety mm -hmm. um and that's one thing lacking in bond county but um going further the last time you were here uh, one of the panelists raised a very important observation about and some resentment from certain community within the Liberian community. And I was hoping that uh, Kamati Dion was here so I could uh, pose that question to him because uh, he has some connection to that community uh, because of some past um, indifferences. But um, I was wondering, since um, um, Kamati is, uh, is at the uh, forefront of your campaign, uh, I, I wanted you to, or him to, you know, tell us a little bit how far he has tried to, to cement that uh, strange relationship or a strange relationship. And to what extent are you reaching other African community? Because uh, Mr. Russell, you're not a, a stranger to other African communities as well. You've done quite a bit. Um, so let's talk about that so we don't just put our egg in one basket called the Liberian basket. Um, so I want you to address yourself to those issues, sir. Thank you. You want me to address it or Kamadi? Uh, either. Uh, you can take. Uh, yeah, so we uh, there's a big tent. Uh, we're reaching out to um, a lot of folks um, across. Uh, uh, this is not just for one uh, one community. I mean, of course, the Liberian community is our base, so we're coming to the Liberian community. But we are reaching out to uh, uh, our friends and supporters uh, in all of the different uh, racial and demographic groups. Thank you, Kumati. So the the issue was uh, with your community. I think uh, according to one of our panelists that was here the last time. So to what extent are you trying to cement that relationship? with uh, Mr. Russell in your community? So uh, my, my role as the community leader of seven, we pull it, what I say is that we look at things in the bigger context and picture, you know, and we do not let individual differences supersede the general interest of a community or group or Liberian as a whole, you know, and then we foster to mend fences and bridge gaps among people. You see, our diversity as a group of people is embedded in our commonality as a nation and people. We will have differences, but we should understand the things that keep us together and bring stronger bond amongst us is what we should focus on. There are people in the community that have differences with Rinfred. There are people in the, difference in the community that have differences with even me, you. But what is more important is in spite of our differences, you know, but the overall good of our community, the overall good of our people is what 
every servant a leader should strive to build. Thank you very much. Uh, um, when for just before I leave you, um, what budget range are you are you looking at? What is this going to cost your pocket? Or maybe um, maybe some fundraising activity need to be undertaken since uh, this is going to be a, a, a sort of a statewide election, you know, to get you into Congress. Uh, so the uh, uh, our budget is about a um, uh, hundred thousand dollars, and you're right. Uh, elections are very expensive, yeah. and it's a very expensive enterprise. And we're trying to raise as much money as we, we possibly can to be able to get our our message out there. Uh, so we have, have been uh, very uh, very grateful and appreciative to all of those who show up during our our launch, uh, chip in. A little contribution here and there, uh, but you, you're absolutely right. It is it is a very uh, expensive enterprise, and one of the good things in Minnesota is that uh, when you make a donation, you get uh, you get a refund uh, up to what it is, Francis. Is it like seventy five or hundred dollars or something, right? Now you you're muted, but yes, you you yeah you're right, uh, Connor Gray. So um, yeah, we are we are uh, raising funds. We are asking for for uh, for funds to uh, to help um, up. Um, our campaign, our opponent have uh, outraised us. Uh, I mean, they they may have the money. I know we have the people, but we still need to um, to get uh, some resources to get the message out to the people. Thank you, um, Stanton. And if we're interacting with the community, I want to two callers that would like to to throw in. But I'll just wait on that time. We we'll get to that time. Thank you very much, Dr. Richardson. Yeah, I want to uh, urge the parents to, to vote for Winfrey Russell. He represented us in the past. Uh, I believe that representation is important. Like Fatima said, a win for Winfrey is a win for Liberians. Um, I want to just ask, uh, you guys have mentioned some of the interests of Liberians. Like somebody said appropriation of funds, somebody said uh, resources of building. Can you tell me, Mr. Russell, or anybody for that matter on this panel, actually I'd like to hear from the others. Uh, what specific interests of Liberians do you believe that Mr. Russell will be representing if, when he's elected? We can't hear you, Mr. Diam. Francis, you can go ahead. Well, can you hear me now? Well, uh, Winfrey has um, various, uh, various uh, objectives that we've talked about, for, for example, schools. Um, the schools in our community is highly populated by Liberians and um, um, making sure he, they, they get the right fundings to get teachers. And, and even look, even the, the school in Brooklyn Park is almost 75% Liberians, right? But the kids there are eating American food. I know. Um, the kids are used to American food and stuff, but something simple as maybe putting some Liberian spices, changing the menu that fit the, the, the kids in the population, bringing in more resources, after school programs, those are things we're going to make sure that our community gets. Um, also, we first talk about um, healthcare, mental health issues, you know. Africans mostly don't like to talk about mental health, but there are a lot of people that has mental health problem, problems that need those assistance. So all those things will, will be addressed, you know, in, in, in with Winfrey. And um, Winfrey is just going to be a house representative, but there are a lot of, of, of sample bills for, 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 for fundings for the community, for even commodity, for our organization, library organization. Those fundings, when it's coming out, uh, 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 Minnesota has a bunch of surplus. Those surpluses need to be distributed among people. And you, we, uh, if you have somebody there, you can say, look, the Liberian organization is right there. We need fundings. We need to maybe buy a building or expand our building and stuff. Those grants, we can get grants to do things for our community. So yes, all those things, having somebody at the table 
it can greatly help. But one of the things I really wanted to stress on today while we're here for is to encourage people to go at the poll on April 13th. I don't want us to lose sight of what's most important. The dedicated year are the most important thing we need to talk about because without the dedicates being present on April 13th to vote, we would not be talking, this is not, would not be happening. So we really need to encourage those delegates to please come show up. Like you guys, that we said you guys show up at the caucus. The caucus, the main reason what the caucus was for you guys to register to vote on April 13th. So the caucus was the registration. Now the 13th is the main part. If you register and you don't come to vote on April 13th, all that effort you put in was in vain. So coming to April 13th is what you work for, is why you got up that day on, on February 27th to, to, to go up there and show up in Norma. Now we have to show to the people, we show up in Norma then and we're gonna show up in Norma again because a united group of people, we have power. And Liberians, we have so much power because we have the numbers. We are not taking advantage of the numbers that we have, but well, we have so much uh, power in number. We are a large group of people. If we just come together and support each other and support our united efforts, we will do better. So please, librarians, show up on April 13th and show them how it's done. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. You got one more? No? All right, so let's do this. And I like what um, our sister said. Uh, let's just bring this home to Minnesota to where you guys and, you know, let's talk to the people from that end. It is important today. Uh, so, so Winfrey, let us, let's do this. What really you want the people right now, those that went over there that night, you know, it was very cool, but it went there. You are, I'm receiving this from Musa Keita. Musa Keita says, Stanton, all the way, I hate to read this, but I have to. Let me, let me even pull it up. I don't want to read it and say that Stanton reading this thing. But Musa Keita, he loved to go to Waterside where he took us when we were there. He came with us and we put to the screen and fry color. And uh, this is what he's saying. It looks like it, it just, I hope he can send it back. He says, stand on all the white people supporting the Kenyan lady. Is that true? Because Winfrey came late from Liberia. Is that true, Winfrey? No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not even true. They're at the stage we are now, as Francis uh, just said and Kamadi said earlier, all that matters now is that the people who register to vote, nobody else can join the process. Only the people who register to vote, who register to, sorry, who register to be delegates on February 27th. No one can, no one else can join the party, uh, Musa. Only the people who register on February 27th. And we were the majority. Liberians were the majority. Hardly any white folks were there. So let me just say, so Spencer, can I have an opportunity to respond to this guy message? Yeah. First of all, there's not the white people that are the majority live in 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 Brooklyn Park, right? If you look at the dedicated list, the list where there, that those on the list are the only people that can vote. If you look on that list, it's all African, most like Liberian. So. She can be married to white people. She can have 200 white people that vote her, but the people that can vote on April 13th are all black people, right? So having all the white supporters, but you don't have the voters, what good does that do for you? So the people that matters here most, the people that have the power is the voters, the delegates that own the list. They are the only people that can vote. So it doesn't matter if she's being supported by anybody else. Gory, having all those Liberians and Africans and our supporters, what are white, black, Indians, go on our list. Having all our supporters go out and get to the vote is the only thing that matters. Having white husband, having white supporter really doesn't matter. The delegates are the only people that matters. Okay, so let's settle this. What's the total number that brought you this far, uh, Mr. Russell? So the uh, the delegate list that we have, registered delegate list, uh, is about 233. Is that enough to see this thing up for you? Well, uh, if we can, uh, okay, so, I mean, for those of you, maybe Fatima uh, uh, or Conor Gray can do the math. What is 60% of 230? Okay, so we'll go on our, we'll go to our computer. <laughs> And we'll go, we got, you know, don't let Glennie do this math. It will come. 60% <laughs> of 230. Yeah. 138. 138. Yeah. Okay. 
So okay. that's, 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 the, that's the I can say that 140. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the winning number. So if we can get 140 Liberians, not only Liberians, not only Liberians, but 140 oh, delegates on that list of 233 list. To, to, uh, to vote for us during the convention, then we win. Uh, uh, so, so my question to you, you came up school the last time and you beg Liberians, you beg African, you beg folks in Minnesota in your district, say, please go over there. How many folks turn up for you? The, uh, there were a lot of folks who turned out. We don't know the exact number because many of them were tossed out because they completed the form uh, 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 inappropriately. So some of those numbers were, um, uh, were tossed out. Now, what you did, uh, Stanton, was that when you put on spool that folks should show up, which they did, many people who showed up, uh, some of those people who show up were not from the district. They came from all over Minnesota. They just showed up. So those names were tossed out, right? So, but if you look at the sheer number of people, just the sheer number of people who, who show up, and maybe Kamadi and, and, uh, and Francis can say, but we've got hundreds and hundreds of people. But, you know, those hundreds and hundreds of people, they had to live in the district to register as delegates. So that's what, that's, so that's what happened. All right. I, 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 wait for it. I'll uh, stand if I can come in. Come in. Mean, yeah. Okay, good. So I, I, I think uh, uh, Wefer and uh, Francis, I think the panel, they, they, they want some kind of uh, hope. They, they want to get an idea what we stand, how we're going to do it. Let's let them know we have two chances. Our first priority here is to get the Democratic Party endorsement. If you have a party endorsement, the party apparatus come behind you to support you. Okay? Now, there is also a second vote. That second vote comes in. Even if you don't have the party endorsement, you can still go for that second vote. All right? And if you win that vote, okay, uh, and you win the party candidate, the party endorsed candidate, they will have no choice to support you. So what we are doing, we have our first chance is to ensure that we secure the party's endorsement. Because with the party endorsement, it comes with a lot of privileges. The party apparatus, remember this year is a general election year, what we call presidential election. And the party recruits a lot of people and people vote down the party line. Okay, so that's what we want to get because with our limited resources, if you have the party apparatus behind you, you stay a far better chance than the first thing. Okay, so so Kamadi, uh, we understand that. I was just talking to somebody and they, they are kind of confused. Good friend, you say you need 140 individuals, right, to put you on the party ticket. That's the minimum vote we need for the yes, party. yeah, minimum. no, it, okay, Stanton is only to get it. To, to say, okay, to like Kamati tried to explain, that number is for the convention on Saturday to get the endorsement. To say that uh, the Democratic Party in Minnesota endorses Winfred Russell for the House of Representatives. That's what I understand. Is. So yes. that you need minimum 140. Exactly. That's correct. If you, if you get 140, you knock the other lady out. Yes. Well, okay, That's correct. Right. Yeah, okay, yes. But here's the deal, right, Stanton? This is how it uh -huh. works, right? So typically, uh, I mean, I like to, okay, maybe not, I should bring in Liberia into it. But typically what happens is that when you win the party endorsement, because this is within the Democratic Party, because then you will meet the Republican in November. So this is just Democratic Party, right? Well, we're talking Republican now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah so, so once you win the party endorsement, typically what happens is the person who loses steps aside. Okay right so but she has said that she is not going to step aside even if she doesn't win she's going to go to the primary oh in okay yeah so she's still going to fight you at the primary exactly yeah but the good thing about us winning the the, the, the endorsement is we stand on a stronger way yes we stand almost guaranteed to win the, the, the primary right anyone who wins the endorsement 
90% of the time wins the primary. It's not 100% of the time, but majority of the time wins the primary. That's why it's very important for us to win the convention on, 20, on, on April 13th. Right. Then if, she, if, she, if we win and she still wants to go to the primary, we, we on a better footing to win at the primary. Good point. We got that. It's good. But then the, the other piece of standard is that they, it, 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 if she gets, if it's 50-50, the, it, you know, the convention can be tied. Then nobody gets the endorsement. Then both part, then both candidates go to the, the primary. So I have, provide, a, I have a question. Let me provide another information for y'all. Go ahead. Okay, go good. ahead. Sorry, right, good. So the, the, the next information I'm trying to provide, because the, 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 the opponent has a better watches instead of us, uh, more than us. So their goal is to run us to the primary. But here is the deal. Tell it a district, the district it calf in the way that it is majority minority. And all of that majority minority, the Liberian community has a very sizable amount in that man, a majority minority group. So our focus is okay. We give it the first shot to go for the endorsement. If we don't have, have it, or if it tight, the second shot is to rally the entire community and all of our network with the other West African community and other people. So they they later post a question on the no white people voted for us or the guy or the white people. And that statement I don't think is correct because the last election we had, Russell has 9,000 votes when he ran for city mayor. We were involved in the election. A majority of that vote from Brooklyn Park City were Caucasian. So to say that you don't have white be behind, I think I, I stand to challenge that. Right. So does, um, does, losing, does, losing, does losing the, the, um, does losing the primary prevent someone from getting on the ballot as an independent candidate? No, it does not. So which means um, this lady could go and run as an independent candidate if she does not get the um, the primary um, vote? Well, she, she wouldn't want to do that if you want a future in the Democratic Party. Okay? Because then you pre you present yourself as a witchy watcher person and uh, uh, you have the, the likes of the Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton scenario, and you know that better during the, the primaries. Okay, so let's get to this. Let's get to this. One first. So I asked my question because of you know seriously, you you, you don't have the information from the first uh, program. You you do not. Information. Am, I, am I correct? The, 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 the total numbers of folks. No, yeah, so he, he, he wants to know, uh, for instance, the total number of people who show up uh, for us. Right. Um, oh, so as, as we first said, there's a lot of people who show up. I probably around like 350, kind of thing like that. Um, the number of people that show up. But as we said, all those people could not be counted in because someone was not in the district. Some some of them did not fill up the form, right? So they were not counted. But the number we need to focus on right now is not the number that went there. It's the number on the delegate list. I have changed, I have um, shared the delegate list with everybody. That's 333. Do you know their names? We do. do we have, have, you, have you, that, that's, that's, that's what I'm asking. If yes, you have the name of 233, is it legal to do so, though? Yes, it yes. is very legal. Okay. We have been yes. sharing the do list. you have, do you have, so majority on our list are Liberian, correct? Yeah. Uh, Liberians or minorities. So people talking about white. It doesn't even matter because I don't no, even forget about the white. I don't like to get into that. That's I don't even know the white. I'm asking right. you. I'm asking you. You have yeah. the list of folks. You have yeah. the information, the phone yeah, number, the telephone number, the email. Have you been reaching out to them? Yeah. Oh yeah. yes, we've been door knocking. We've been calling. That's all we've been doing. Okay, so here we are. Dr. Richardson couldn't agree. You have them. They. You just begging them now to come on Saturday, correct? Exactly. That's yes. it. Uh, can we call them? Can we call some of them on the show and ask them to come? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can. We can. Uh, wait, can it, it. It. I don't want to get in trouble. No, no, no. That is this is going to be Saturday, yeah. and they are willing to take our call. We yeah. can do a call center here on Spoon that'll be, Talk. That, that, that would be awesome. <laughs> we can do a call center here on Spoon Talk. We can tell you guys to come ready on Wednesday. And we, because if we have to help you, we got to help you all yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. tell you guys to come on Wednesday. We can, can please, it got to be legal now. Don't don't get us in trouble. No, you, you want me to put you in touch with a lawyer? I mean, it's legal. There's nothing no, no, there. put Dr. Richardson in touch with a lawyer. Yeah. So, but what we're going to do is uh, let's do a call center here on Wednesday. Come on the show early and call these people. Those that will answer, answer. We will open the phone line and call okay. them and say, Will you be there? They gotta commit that they will be there, whether snow, whether exactly. sun, whether rain, and everything. That's and they gotta mean. commit. Now, I'm not saying that they're gonna vote for one for verse. I hope they will, but they have to be there. And yeah. if you're from Liberia, you gotta vote for your librarian brother. If you're from Brooklyn <laughs> Park and you went to Waterside to eat up to this grand that car, you gotta vote for one for verse. Now, if the other person comes to me and says, Listen, Spoon Network, Dr. Richardson, can you give us strength? She's from Kenya. We welcome her too. It's the people's program. We want to listen to her as well. So we hope she's listening and she hopes she can join us, can, can come on Spoon Talk. But folks, uh, Dr. Richardson, Colonel Gray, I think that's a good idea, though. Let us do a call center on Spoon on Wednesday and win for Versa with pay because it's not a promotion for him. His team got to pay. You know, uh, I don't know about the money thing you want to raise. I, I'm not part of that. You got to talk to Dr. Richardson and the CEO, Madam Titi Kane. But the best I can do, I can advocate and say, let's do a call center here. Yeah. On Wednesday, give you the entire show, race, and, you know, call those people. Some of them will be at work. Some of them will be at home. And let's just ask them, just a simple question. Will you be at this address on Saturday? <clears throat> can we do that? Okay, I, I'm but, okay. but Tata, can, can I just give a message out to our community? If you don't mind. Just a two-minute message to everybody. you already on the show, sir. How will I mind again? Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, my fellow Liberians, as we stand on the brinks of an important election in our district, we are faced once more with a decision that could shape our communities for future generation. One candidate, a dedicated Liberian immigrant who has lived in this district for over 18 years, offer a profound understanding of our needs and aspiration in contracts, his opponent is a newcomer of less than six months who has no idea of what the intricacy, the culture, and the understanding of our community is. Some may criticize our candidate for not attending various events, speaking to every individual, but we must ask ourselves. What is the alternative? Do we choose a representative who is deeply embedded in our community and understands our challenges, who can opt for someone who lacks the same level of understanding and commitment to our community? This election is a defined role for which our community and generation will in years to come Sit back and look. Were you part of this process? What was your contribution? Did you sit back idly? Did you draw the struggle? How nationalistic are you? Russell is just the vessels through which our community can have a seat at the table. What individual differences we have as a people, as individual, should not trump the overall interest of our community. I ask you all to please show up on the tag team and vote if you are a delegate. If you're not a delegate, call anybody that is. If you're not a delegate, show up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Russell. The people say that you're running to be congressman. You should you should you should read that message. Uh, um, send out one caller though. Wait, 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 wait. I want Russell to add to that message to be fair. If you will say the one year from you, Russell. Thank you. No, uh, so this is this is a great opportunity for us. I think we we uh we we stand uh, you know at the precipice of, of greatness, of, of great access uh, to resources, 
uh, not just for our community here, but for our community in, um, um, you know, back home for the homeland. Um, we were just here uh, with the uh, police chief uh, visiting the, um, our area. We were able to uh, to leverage our connections and contacts uh, to uh, to uh, set up um, a training package for the Liberian National Police. I mean, these are some of the resources and these are some of the connections that we are talking about. Uh, when I was a city council member, for example, we were able to give two I mean, we're not hearing you, though. Oh, you know, hear? you hear me now? Yes, it's better. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so we're looking forward to seeing you all at, uh, at the convention next week, Saturday at uh, Northview Junior High School at the intersection of 6th and 9th and Zane Avenue in Brooklyn Park. Um, and the event goes from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we are really, 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 really um, appealing to you to please show up. We have food, we have drinks, we have music. Uh, we have a, a, a lot of things to keep you uh, to keep you busy. It's going to be a long day, but it's going to be a worthwhile long day for all of us um, in the community. Thank you very much, uh, Russell. You know, I, I love to keep it 100 uh, percent. I appreciate you. And I believe with the help of God, you can do this. I seriously believe, you know, where we have uh, Liberians all over where we can go and eat at Waterside. And I love that spot. I will probably come there again. And, you know, see you dancing on the floor the other night, you know. And that, where the other spot again? That, that spot you guys took us to? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Oral uh, Lounge. And then we have a new one that Liberian owned called Purple Rose. Oh, there uh, you go. Uh, yeah, a hookah bar and, and, and lounge. And, you know, so, so I mean, the, the, listen, you have to win that seat, man. You have yeah. to. I, I mean, world of politics in Liberia, I think you would do better. So I want to ask everyone if we agree that we speak to Dr. To Richie C and Madam TT Cannon, the CEO, and the rest of the team to see what we can do a call center here for you. Call those folks and ask them whether they can show up. All you want, you ask them, please show up. You know, I, man, these folks have money. You do not. And, you know, you, you ask some people, say, give me some cash app and whatsoever. It is why it is. But if you win this thing, you will win this thing because the people have agreed. So let's do that. Let's open a call center, folks. And I just asking everyone in Minnesota, if you want to take off on Saturday, take off. Yeah. Don't miss it. You know, and just, just be part of this. It will help our community in Minnesota. It will help us. Uh, forget the local politics from Liberia. Let's do this because who do you have in Congress right now as a librarian? Oh, I forget. The only librarian in Congress that Chris Smith. But where else do you have in Congress? I, I'm saying it seriously because he's fighting for something good in Liberia. But who else in, in, in who else you have in Congress to say yes, I can sit with this individual and eat a potato screen, a palm butter, and talk about Bon Cante? I mean, it, it's our time. So we beg in you, wherever you find yourself, we beg in you. Let's do it for Liberia, not for Russell. Let's do it for, listen, <laughs> Russell, little brother and myself, as bad as he was, Quincy, were, were classmates, you know? But he, he's doing extremely well in Liberia. He's doing extremely well. He's a good friend. We have come a long way, folks. Let's just do this for Liberia. So wherever you find yourself, if you want to be part of the call center on Spoon on Wednesday, just let Russell know. We can take only 10 or 12 years. We will make adjustment. You will come on. You will call somebody that you know. I want you guys that come from Minnesota, Brooklyn Park to be on. So bring five individuals and share the phone numbers and we'll create space for you guys. Let call. Let not do on Spoon talk. It's something we do, something new. We'll be on the show for three, four hours knocking door. 
And I think if we can reach 140 individuals that can commit minimum, mm -hmm. this thing is done. It's fini. It's over. Okay? Russia is not paying right. for it. And that's the best thing we can do. So Dr. Richardson, Glenny, Fatima, gonna agree. We're going to open the phone line. We got about maybe five more minutes, and, you know. I can uh, say I got one caller here already. Call great. Let's go, please. Uh, so, caller, make sure you mute yourself behind there, okay? Are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm there. Okay. Uh, make sure you mute yourself so that you don't have interference. Go ahead and call your name and, and tell us exactly uh, what's your position. Well, my name is Amos Wieser. I live in Broken Park. I'm one of the uh, greatest entertainers of Broken Park. Well known. I'm a member of Ablao, one of the biggest soccer club in Broken Park, in which Russ Winsett Ruffo is not a member of, and I don't think he even relates to the organization. And I can tell you, Stanton, on this show, we got more than 25 Liberian soccer clubs right in Broken Park. But these people are not doing anything for us in the community. Even the OLM, all the things they're telling you what that you always say in your show is lie. We 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 raised up, but we will vote for different person. It happened before. There's so but many that's, things in South that's all the way before. When we felt when we felt refused to join the OLM in Brooklyn Park, so we can become one to get great. They broke away, they said they didn't for the wound. And then go ahead, they don't. All right, so let me ask you, so what's your name? You, you said, what's your name again? I will go that way. They can read, name? and they can stop saying the woman from different Can I agree? Can we, can I agree? Can we, we can All right. Uh, can I agree? Can we ask you, what's your name again, sir? My name is Amos Wissa. Amos Wissa. Yeah. Uh, you're from Liberia, and your point are valid that he's not part of any one of those clubs. Uh, Russell can speak for himself. Uh, have you met him? Have you have a sit down with Russell? Yes, I met Russell on so many occasions. Even when we we're trying to negotiate, bringing Brooklyn Park and St. Paul, the both Liberians, with him and his student together. I met with Russell. I know him good. He knew me. Even when he brought the uh, representative from Liberia, uh, who wanted to be um, president of Liberia when you're running around Bonga with the bring. Russell never met with Ablao, but the man met with Ablao. Yeah, okay. So you are saying that because he never joined the club because he's far away from all the 20 different clubs. So you will allow this opportunity to pass and vote no, you see, by another person. Clinton, let's rectify this. We shall stop making this kind of correction now. We have to make this correction because people when they come to the community when they want something. When we give it to them, we don't see them. Okay. What so of them want us for July 26 here in a community? It's not as a lady taking over oil and women who are trying to bring the women together. We want to see oil and when they bring in letter for election. We pay ten dollars to register. We don't even know what to do our money. There are a lot okay. of situations that you can't handle. Okay. So so can we can, can you and Russell meet and discuss this further? Oh, there's nothing to discuss. The thing is, you want a position that I won't be able to help him. There's nothing secret okay. about it. There's so many people told you on this show before. Thank you. Thank you, Emmerich. Thank That's you very right. much for your Thank call. You. Thank you, Emmerich. So, folks, let's You're open welcome. the phone line. Thank you very much, Emmerich, we said. Uh, let's open the phone line. Nelson, can you come on? Yes, ma'am. I know you want to open the phone line, and I heard what Emma said. I'm, I'm very disappointed as a Liberian. And, and I get that. He lives in Minnesota. They have no representative right now. That is the issue. So if the Liberian community is there, and he is saying that the Liberian community is not reaching out to him, has he reached out to the leader of the Liberian community? Has the different clubs they have there reached out to the Liberian? So if they're not reaching to you, what have you done as a Liberian to also extend your hand to reach out? To come and say, okay, we don't want win for us, so that's fine. You're not going to have a representation. So when they want you to come, let's come together and find somebody that will be able to represent us at the Congress level. And you're saying, no, I will take somebody else. But then you're also saying with the same voice because the Liberian people are not helping us. When does this stop? When do we give ourselves an opportunity to be heard at the table and to sit at the table? And this is, this is Liberia. How does this get better? When does things change? If we continue to hold animosity against one another, because we, we find no football club. 
Or you go to so he's not a footballer. <laughs> if he's not a footballer, he's not a footballer. But right. th like, thank you, thank you. I I want to I want to hold you there, Glenn. Right. Glenn, let me hold you there. Let's take more. Can I ask the excuses? Uh, you know, yeah, I know that's what Richard saying. Yeah, you're right. Thank you very much, that's what Richard saying. And we'll see you tomorrow by God's grace. Thanks. Uh, let me take this call real quick. Let, let me. Let me take, go ahead, your name or where you call it from? Hi, my name is Leroy. Yeah, Leroy. Yeah, I'm calling from Minnesota. Talk to us, uh, Leroy. We, we all know uh, Russell and we know Mr. Ka Kamati. Uh, I am part of uh, Veteran Ablao in Minnesota here. A full member of Veteran Ablao since 2005. And Mr. Gray right there, Colonel Gray right there knows me very well. And I, I tell you the truth, like I sent on a text, Amos Wiese does not represent Ablao. So if Amos Wiese want to say anything to Mr. Russell, he can go ahead and say to Mr. Russell personally. Thank you. He cannot use veteran Ablao as a stepping stool <coughs> for his his personal and trendata or whatsoever against Mr. Russell. Ablao got nothing to do with Mr. Russell. Thank you, bro. Thank if you very Mr. much. Mr. Russell wants to meet with Ablao, Mr. Russell will meet with Ablao. Liberian have the right to vote, and Liberian have the right to, to be represented. Thank you very much. Thank hey, you let me, so let me, very much. Hold on, hold on one minute, Kakamati. Let, let, me, let me do this. Um, Have you met them, Russell, before we even continue with the phone call? Well, you know there are a lot of groups here, and as um, uh, Sis Glendy said, I, I don't, I don't, I don't play football, but I work uh, with all these groups around here. I know many. Uh, like um, I'm not going to be dropping names, but I know all of these guys. I mean, I work with them. The guy who was on the phone earlier, the Amos uh, uh, we said person, I, I, I don't have any recollection of meeting him. And what he was talking about. A group in St. Paul and in, in Minneapolis and Brooklyn Park. I have no idea where that is coming from. That is flat out fiction because never been part of anything that I've been a part of or, or, or being a member of. But I do work with and I have met with many sports groups and organizations, football, uh, basketball, and all of the other groups, youth groups, uh, and all of them, you know. Uh, but, you know, like you, Stanton, said uh, a few minutes ago, I mean, this is just, yes, our base is Liberian, and we're the largest group here. But I work with many other groups. I mean, there are a lot of other people, Kenyans as well, a part of my team, white folks, I mean, Asian, and all of these folks are part of the part of my, team, my group. And I work with all of them and provide resources for all of these, these, different, these different groups. There's no group that has come to me, uh, whether it's football group or or women's group or any group that has come to me and asked for resources or asked for, for help that I have not provided that standard. The record is there. The good thing is you can go to the Brooklyn Park City Hall and you can see my voting record that I've, uh, you know, all of the different initiatives and services that I have supported, food assistance, I mean, during COVID-19, vaccination, you know, excess vaccination went to Liberia. I mean, there was just a whole host of things. And it's not possible to be okay. this individual. This this particular group that the second quarter called about uh, Ablado, I'm asking you, have you spoken to them? I, I've not spoken to them as a group, but I've spoken to individual members of the group uh, because, like we said, at this point where we are now, we're just we've just been focusing, concentrating on the delegates who registered on February 27th. After will February, you, will you? Will you Will you meet them prior to? Oh yeah, most, most definitely. I mean, I know, I know all of them. They know, they okay. know, they know me very well. I'm not, yeah. All right, but let's take calls. Uh, let's take calls, folks. We got twelve more minutes to be here. I want to say, listen. Yeah, this is what I'm here. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Hola, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. We can hear you. Yeah. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to the listening audience. My name is Baba Tura. I'm calling from okay, Roseville, Minnesota. Am I clear? Yes. I want to turn his radio off or his computer. You say turn your monitor off. Talking to the cell phone. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Am I, is that good now? I think you are. Okay. Good afternoon. Thank you. My name is Baba Ture. I'm calling from Roseville, Minnesota. Um, I think you are. I lived in Minnesota for the past 15 years. I know Russell very good. Um, right now, I think what's important is 
was in there for us as Minnesota, yeah. as Liberia. That's what's important for, for me right now. Can he turn the radio off or his monitor or something off? Something yeah. playing in the back. Yeah, we got something playing in the back. Also, you can turn your monitor off. Please, your back. Monitor is totally off. I don't know. Yeah, we got something playing in the back. Are you, are you still hearing feedback, my monitor is totally off. Okay. Go ahead. Okay yeah, it's okay now. I think you cut it off. Okay. So, like I was saying, why it's more important to me right now as a Liberian is why is in this for us? Okay. Russia okay. don't have to call me. I know Russia personally, but you don't have to call me. Uh, after Ramadan on Wednesday, I will personally join the team and I urge all Liberians, regardless of what happened, what Russia has done to you, please join the team. Let's take Russia there first, then we can talk this behind the house. But let us not afford to allow this opportunity to slip from us just because Russia don't speak to me or Russia don't do this. That is something that we can handle behind the house. But I urge and I beg all Liberians. Russia they didn't call me, but you don't have to call me. But I don't live in Brooklyn Park. I will call all the people and I'm urging all Liberians to do the same. Call your people. Let's put Russell there and then let the interests of Liberia be protected. Then we can talk about what happened. What Russell didn't do good, we'll talk about that later. Thank this, you. This is Baba Ture, one of our Madingo giants. So he called. But thank you. At least I got your number now. <laughs> thank, thank you very much, uh, Fatima. Thank you. Uh, can we open the phone line? Can you put the number up? Thank you. Uh, folks, can you call the number from the studio, please? Uh, we will take a uh, course uh, at 8 o'clock. When I listen to them, don't forget, Wednesday, we're going to have a call center here on Spoon. Uh, we'll call everyone. Those think that this is about Liberia. <laughs> the bigger picture is Liberia. It's not Russell, you know. Uh, but if to each his own, this is America. Uh, so let's open the phone line, Nelson. Okay, so the number to call is 0555-101075, and the WhatsApp number is on the screen. So we take our first call here. Hello, you live. Your name and where you call from? Yes. You're live. Go ahead. Can you lower the volume of your monitor, please? Oh, uh, hello, Nelson. Yes, you're live, sir. Go ahead. You're live. Yeah, Nelson, my name is David. I'm a registered nurse here. Okay. Yeah, there's a delay because your monitor is on. Can you lower the volume of your TV or computer, whatever you're using to monitor the show? Okay, just just to continue here, uh, Delcy, I would just want to. That's what we'll get to that guy later. Hello, your name. Where are you calling from? I'm going to Minnesota. Yes, yeah. I'll talk to us. You like? Yeah, I think the. The last quarter, uh, the second quarter, he make he stressed a very good, important points. We're not here for division. What we're here for, to have a representative that will represent us. Now, when I came to Minnesota, there's immigration told me that the highest working force immigrant in Minnesota are like this. Then why are we? We have no one representing us. So we need somebody who will support him to the fullest. I think we, we appreciate that. Thanks ever so much. Thank you very much, my friend. Let me take another one sitting there saying people that put him with calls in the back. That's you ready now? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. We got some calls here. Let me take those. Your name and where you calling from, please? Hello. Yep. Your name and where you calling from? Hello, your name and where you calling from? Uh, so the people in Minnesota, I know that something happening though. Uh, uh went from can they turn the radio then off, the monitor off, and talk into the cell phone? <laughs> they put the uh, uh, my the the show they the the cell phone in a, in a year. That's a go ahead. What you got? Hey, every I living one I, I go to in this play, every every center I go to. Uh, the big screen there, they're watching YouTube. Yeah, they're watching. They're mm -hmm. watching. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good evening. You're live. Please go ahead. Good evening. Yes, we are live on the show. Your name and where you call from. 
you very much for the opportunity. This is BGP Michel. Okay. I'm and let me say thanks so much to the Spoon, the Spoon family uh, for this great time. But you know, I'm a, I'm a bit uh, disappointed uh, on the first quarter. Uh, you know, because uh, it's a similar, similar thing that they happen to us in Liberia. You will look at the right thing, but because they tell them they didn't go to your house to sit with you. I found a show at the beginning, up to now, that you don't have a presentation in, 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 in Minnesota. Now, a Liberian standing up, they say that thing, we say, W, I'm back in, man. Keep your mind. You need to vote for a Liberian there so that you can have a voice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your contribution. We take another person. Hello, your name and where you call from? Washington, Carson. You see your trouble? Welcome Hello, please go ahead. W. Yeah, thank you very much. My name is Tower Bless. I'm calling from Momo Town. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Well, I'm disappointed in the first color. You have a Liberian who has gone and reached that high. Only because this guy did not visit you personally at your house. How can you make this unrealistic? So you mean this guy visit in the same? Oh my God. Let's, let's, let's squeeze in this person. person. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello. Thank your you. name and where you call from? Hello. Yeah, please go ahead quickly. Nelson, I'm... I'm calling from Minnesota. Yeah, go I, ahead. Are you hearing me? You are live, sir. Okay, I just wanted to extend thanks and appreciation to all of you on the panel there, especially uh, Stanton, you, and everyone there. Uh, regarding Winfrey, oh, I, I know a lot of people probably might not know Winfrey, but Winfrey has been one of the best uh, persons uh, uh, some of us have getting to know. I mean, I know when I was going to, before even I started MCDC in school there, I'm a registered nurse. It was Winfrey that helped. And uh, if you don't get to know Winfrey sometime, you might have something else to say, but he's very good. If you get to meet with him, he's one of the uh, best person to talk to. Uh, this issue of representation, we really need it in Minnesota here. So I'm just appealing to everyone to please give him the chance to take this position so that at least we have some representation here. It has been something I've been thinking about a long time. And uh, I, I, who's the best person that we can go? Thank I you. mean, we can look up to. But Winfrey is the, the best person. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. We take another person here. Hello, your name and where you call from? Uh, okay, so we lost this I person. I have one, Nelson. Okay. All right, go ahead, Carla. All right, this is Milton Minnesota, and I, and I just wanted to call to. Can to you maybe put your phone speaker? Uh, the voices of many other Liberians uh, in support of my friend, uh, my friend and brother, Wilfrey Nathaniel Russell. I think it's a great opportunity for us to support not only a qualified uh, Liberian American, but an opportunity for us to ensure that uh, we have a seat at the table. And this is a great opportunity for us, not only in Minnesota, but Liberians across the United States. So I just want to thank you for the opportunity to come and support my brother, my friend and brother, in his pursuit uh, to uh, his election to the Minnesota House of Representatives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you so much. Okay, so I can take another one from here. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Hello Please go ahead, sir. You're live. You can't be after the opportunity coming to a can't go your friends, he got to he got to that and think in it. That opportunity for you and for Labrie, every Labrie. Now, what happened to our in Republic of Canada? What are you doing? 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 Yes, you're live. Your name and where you call from? My name is 
your name? Okay, please go yeah. ahead. You're breaking in. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I actually disappointed our Why we don't You are very low. You are very you are coming very low. Let's let's squeeze in this person. Hello, you're live, your name and where you call from. Hello. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, hello, just guys in a peninsula. I'm calling from Warosa Market. Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, I would like to express my disappointment over Mr. Wisha who just called and try to bring up that whole business into uh uh a mangi labrin amangi team by in the state house to represent our interest. Abdao is a is a social club, no bad force will join a social club. We are talking about interest of Liberians. We don't we don't come to America to join Ablao. The man is an intellectual. He wants to represent the people's interest. That's what we are talking about. If you have any personal issue with Mr. 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 Russell, just meet him and discuss it. We are talking about Liberian people's interest. We got we got Somalia representing Lab Somalia in the, in the Congress. Liberia be the first republic in Africa to become a friend of America. All like, well, what we say, like the American colonizers, we don't have any representation. Then you come here on, 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 on school talk, tell me to a fellow man who pushed the agenda of Liberian people in America. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks a lot for your country. I got one call and one squeeze in here. Where are um, I want to call out like a company. Yeah, I want to call out like a company. I want to call out like a company. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to call out like a company. Glenn, is some, uh, something happened for the best. You see how many sympathy the men gaining? Yeah, that's true. Uh, Let them beat him up. <laughs> hey, Colonel Gray. Yeah, go ahead. Colonel, you're loud. Hey, look, look, grace and peace to you. Uh, <clears throat> and, and to all the panelists, I I want to greet uh, a CM brother, Winfrey Rosa. This is uh, Dr. Zezi Potter. I'm calling from Western Pennsylvania. Uh, I've known uh, Brother Russell for a very long time, way back in those ELBC days. Taxation without representation is something very crucial within the American framework. And I think at the level at which we are, as we speak towards the building of a new dispensation, not only in the United States, but in Liberia as well. Uh, Brother Russell is indeed a genuine representation of the Africanness, of the Liberianness, of the Blackness, of Black excellence that we speak about. And I think it behooves all of us, whether those who live in Minnesota or not, it behooves all of us, those of us who are Liberians, those of Liberian heritage, those of African heritage, keeping within the conceptualization of pan-Africanism and the role it has played in fighting for the freedom movement in Africa and also for the freedom of Black people in this part of the world. I think uh, Brother Russell going to Congress will be indeed a full representation of not only Liberians within Minnesota, but Liberians within the context of the United States, especially those of us who have lived here for many years. Uh, he just gave a, a glaring example about some of the role he played in the past, to be an eye for Liberia and to be a representative of uh, the Liberian heritage. So I just wanted to say hi self to Brother Rosso. We haven't met, probably it's been more than 35 years, but uh, I, I'm always in and out in Minnesota. I do a lot of work now for the church and the university up on the East Coast. I'm hoping one of these days I'm right able to see that brother, salute him, and that we can be able to talk, talk the real talk of the past and what we can do together and making sure we can strengthen much, the well-being of Liberians, not only Thank in the United States, also in Liberia. And uh, the movement now that is uh, thinking about the diaspora within the context of an African renaissance that will seek Africa. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, 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 let's take more calls, folks. Uh, uh, we, we, we have to thank you so much. Uh, uh, we oh, have Liberians. Yeah, your name and where you're calling from? United States. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, your name and where you're calling from? Uh, my name is Kai Bernardo. You call me Kedo for short. I'm calling from um, Louisville, Kentucky. Go ahead, Kedo. 
Thank you. Thank you. Um, or, um, Russell, I just want to congratulate you for what you have been doing for Liberians in Minnesota. I follow you um, closely. I lived in Minnesota for five years before um, and most of the folks in Minnesota, in uh, veteran Ablao, they all know me, and they is Kedo, your man. Um, so all those in Minnesota, in the Twin City, that hear my voice is screaming. I want to appeal to all of you. This is not about an individual. It is not about an individual, but bringing librarians to the table. So I'm appealing to each and every one of you to go and vote for Honorable Russell on our election day, come April 13. Again, um, Thank uh, you. Mr. Wisha, Mr. Wisha, I want to appeal to you, please, again, uh, reconsider your Thank decision. You. Thank you, sir. Also, your name and where you calling from, please? Yeah, Oba, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Your name and where you calling from? Uh, this is Bud, you know, calling from the state of Iowa. Bud, go ahead, talk to us. <laughs> you see, Samton, this is some of the wickedness we from Liberia. I'm not talking about any other country. We from Liberia. We came in this country to cleanse ourselves. But instead of cleansing ourselves, we take the same black heart that we came from our country with to, to, to put it on somebody. If the person can mingle with you, bring him closer. Bring the person closer. This is how Liberian mentality, we Liberia and somebody want to do, oh, who is that person? Let me suppress that person so he can be like other people. It is not good. Thank Let you. Me speak to people in Minnesota. It's not about Russell. I don't know him. I've not met with him before. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll, so, we'll, we'll get you on, on Wednesday because we got a night though, but right now you just 30 seconds, sir. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your name and where you calling from? Your name and where you calling from? I will come back to you. Your name and where you calling from, please. Uh, my name is Frank K. Bai. Hey, Frank. My name is Frank K. Bai, CEO. Yes. I live in Canada. Yeah, talk to us. I live in Canada, London, Ontario. Talk to us, my friend. Uh, You got to turn your monitor off, though. Turn your monitor off, because, please. Uh, of the first quarter, the CEO first quarter, let Bagon be Bagon. Let her pull up the rough voice. I will come back to you, brother Frank. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? It's uh, my name is Zuba Shishen uh, from Columbus, Ohio, but my entire family is up in Plymouth, Minnesota. Yes, sir. Talk to us. Um, I just want to speak to the Liberians over in Minnesota. Look at the Somalian community up there. Those, those guys are really, really holding together. They have the economic power. They have the political power. We can do the same. Let's hold together and vote or try to put Russell in the position to give us a representation. Please, let's put all of our personal differences aside and make this a priority. Liberia first. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Uh, Stanton. Yes, sir, we're hearing you. Talk to us. My name is Edwin Sanja. I am calling from Burlington, New Jersey. Talk to us, Edwin. Um, I want to, first of all, thank uh, <coughs> for the great initiative for even just attempting I don't want to even call it attempting. I'm looking at it as a positive endeavor. I am positive that things are going to work. I want to call on the librarian organization that I work with in Minnesota, Yumkilo America Incorporated. Whoever you are in Minnesota as a member of that organization, as a librarian, you have an opportunity. We have this golden opportunity to be represented. I am so blessed. I see two of my uh, close friends, people I admire, that are really behind this endeavor. Thank you. Kamati Jian, we walk in Conakry. And of course, Francis, I want to believe things are going to work. And I call Thank you. on all Liberians of the Bimpilo America Incorporated to support Russell. 
Thank you very much, my friend. Only one of our landlines. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let me take this one. Your name and where you call it from? Hello? Thank you so much, sir. I said you listen to your to your radio. Hello, your name and where you call it from? Hello, Stinton. How you doing, man? My name is Jerry Carway. Look, I'm 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 so very pleased with what you guys what, what you guys are doing. Look, I mean I need to make a very very, very important point. This thing, people in Minnesota, I'm calling from Maryland. People in Minnesota must know this is not about Russell. This is about like Guria. Okay? His representation, his presence on that on that on that on that table will make a big difference and we add to all a whole lot of other things. So we need to to support it and stop talking about Russell who didn't do this and didn't do this. So I thank you. Make a yeah, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, thank you. I'll take the last caller uh, from my end. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Uh, this is Johnny Wula calling from Utah. Talk to us, Johnny. Hey, I appreciate uh, Russell, man, for stepping up in Minnesota. I just want to wish you well and all the delegates that register, please show up on the 13th. And make sure you show your support for Liberia, man. Because when Russell wins, Liberia wins. Thank All you. Right. Thank you very much, John. Thanks for doing this for him. You're welcome, man. Thanks always. We want to say thanks to every one of you. Here we are. We are discussing the issue of uh, Liberia yeah. in, in Congress. We, uh, you got one per one last person to go, Nelson? Yeah, I got one go last person in line. Hello, you're live. Let's hear you. Hello, are you there? You see your person running. Yeah, yeah. Okay, please go ahead. Your name and where you call from, sir. I'm Thomas. Where I'm calling from Minnesota. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I moved to the city in 1992 and actively participated in reorganizing the Liberian Community. Center. 2009, and it's time that Liberia be represented in every part of at the political level. Librarians are shy away, and then, like the federal debt, naively, I always push librarians with the opportunity down to represent us. We have gone through that, but it's, this is not been waiting. Mr. Russell, we are going to support you. Again, this is Thomas Wu. I'm sure you can make reference to that name. My brother Josh was president in Minnesota two times in the early 2000. So he left a very good legacy. Likewise, myself, I supported a liberal organization, and I'm going to throw my weight behind you with my constituents staying in the Twin City. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much, my friend. Thank you. you see, yeah, yeah, we are. We want to say thanks to everyone that John spoke tonight. We want to say thanks to you. Uh, also, thanks to uh, friends. Francis uh, Talo, again, let me say this. It's important for us to just agree on something. Come on Wednesday, by the grace of God. Come Wednesday, okay? We're going to do this. We're just going to just dedicate the entire show to Russell and make this a call center. Even if he didn't say hi to you, even if he did the worst to you, just do it for Liberia. You have nobody in Congress. No, I understand not. we are not perfect, man. Come on. But if given the chance, we'll, we'll do it right. We'll get it right. Everybody, every politician, every minister's director that enter Minnesota, whether you're from the CDC government or you're from the UP government or the Mount Eden government, you find a way to reach out to Russell. He will break his back and take you everywhere you want to go for Liberia to benefit. Most recently, like you can see, uh, that Gregor Coleman, and when Gregor was there, he called me. Yes. When he went to DC, he called me. When he stopped in Ghana, Gregor called me, and Gregor spoke well about Russell, okay? So this is not a game, folks. We can show you a picture of Patrick Sudu and Russell likewise. And everything he's doing continuously is to just make sure that Liberia and Liberians benefit. So we just want to say to you, 
forget about you. Forget what he didn't share the drink with me. You know, come on now. Now let's be serious for the sake of God. Uh, well, why about some of us that have done the worst or the worst people say? Give us a chance, we just doing it for Liberia. A salon, TPS, full stem. My child in jail, can you help release him? How can I get scholarship to come to Minnesota for my children to go to school? Who can I talk to, that congressman, that congresswoman? Come on, guys. How can I open a small business in Minnesota? Come on. It's not easy. And I really, really, really want to appreciate you, Russell. That's why whenever you called, give the chance, I said, come on. Let's do this for Liberia. If the man I eat your thing, forgive him. It's in our blood. We are African. You know, some of you guys, you may say, I went to the place that to chill. You mean they ain't say hi to you, forgive him. You want to put a dead crew outside and you start talking about some of us. But come on, man. We Liberia, man. We got to chill. We backing you. So Wednesday, folks, there will be a call center here on Spoon, okay? I don't know the budget of our soul. You got to talk to Dr. Richardson or my, uh, my TT if you want to raise funds. But we'll be calling each and every one of you, 233. Even if you say, I'm not voting for our soul, just answer our call. And those of you that will be going there, we beg you, if you don't have transportation, Russell said he will make it available. Seriously. He will go ahead and rent these buses just to take you there. If you're hungry, he will give you something to eat. Because it is important. And we're begging, I will be here by God's grace. We will not talk politics. The only politics will be Minnesota politics. We got to get this done. And we want the big announcement on Saturday. So we're begging you folks. From my end, I say I appreciate every one of you that called in, continue on the call. Every one of you that spoke, even we said, we said a crew man, not a crew will behave. I am a relative. In no, fact, we said was just calling me again. I don't know why he wants <laughs> to. Why you call? We don't want to We don't want to No, I told him. We said, you know what? After the show, send me. We said, no, let me talk yeah, to you. I will. The man, the man, the man, the man. Tati Akwa. Tati Akwa. Tabatani. Welcome to the job shop. Yes. Russell, man, that's it, man. Talk to us. Take us home. Let's wrap this up, bro. Thank you. Uh, again, i uh, just uh, like to say I'm, I'm very, very, very extremely grateful to all of those who have called and who have continued to uh, to support uh, our work here and uh, the confidence uh, that they've, they've shown over the years and they continue to show now. And also, I'm very grateful to, uh, to you personally, uh, Stanton, because I know you have uh, been invested personally, uh, not only uh, because of Liberia, you know, um, but more because of Liberia as well, but yeah, just your own personal interest uh, in, in ensuring that we have representation here in uh, in Minnesota. Uh, because, you know, ultimately, you know, when we are successful, um, uh, you are successful, uh, Liberia is successful, all of us, uh, you know, all of us uh, is, is successful. So uh, I'm, I'm very grateful, grateful to, uh, to Fatima, Dr. Richardson, uh, uh, Sis Glendy, uh, Colin Gray, uh, Dr. Richardson, and you know Stanton, all of the other guests. Uh, Mr. Dualu, who uh, had to leave us because um, uh, uh, he had um, other uh, stuff to do. I'd like to say thanks to you all, uh, but primarily the callers uh, for calling in. We'll be here. We'll do right by you. We'll continue to do right by you. We've been in this community of long time, of a very long time. We've not disappointed you. We've not embezzled your money. We've not. Uh, Done anything inappropriate um, in this in this community? I uh, apologize to those. I'm, I'm just one person. I cannot go to all of the the, uh, the baby showers, and I cannot go to all of the and uh, join all of the different uh, football clubs and all of that. But you are with me. You are in my heart. You are in my spirit. We're doing this for you, for all of us. This is for the community. This is not just about me. If anyone else steps up, I will support them. I have recruited others to come. Say, look. You know, because I've been at, I've been at these these big tables, and I I know you know what, uh, what it means to be at these tables. Uh, so 
Uh, please, uh, we'll be here again on Wednesday, as Stanton said. We'll be calling you all. And then on, on Saturday, we will meet you at the Northview Middle School in Brooklyn Park at the intersection of Z and 69th. There'll be food, there'll be drinks. It'll be a very festive uh, environment. Uh, so please come. I'll be honored to have your endorsement um, as um, the, the Democratic uh, endorse uh, candidate uh, for uh, the House of Representatives uh, seat uh, 38A. So your blessings, your your gifts. Uh, we are also raising money too as well. So we, 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 we need everything. Uh, so, but uh, this is a community effort. So I uh, appreciate you all and thanks for the opportunity. And thanks for the time, Stanton. Let's hear from uh, uh, Madam Tyler. I know the candidate has spoken. Do you want to add anything since we're not getting uh, Kamati? You are muted, Madam. Can you unmute? Okay, let's see. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Tenta, I just want to say thank to everybody, all the callers, and I want to most especially thank to your team. And for you, I really have great respect for you and, and really appreciate you. I still remember the last time I, I, I was part of uh, Winfrey Russell um, and Mayor Race. And I always tell people about this, about your, 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 your contribution to that campaign. The reason why it stood up to me because you left from New Jersey, you didn't live in Minnesota, and you weren't part of the, you know, the people that, that needed a vote, but you brought your team here and you went door knocking from door to door as a librarian, you know, you did that because you're a librarian and you always have a librarian hat. And that really, one of the one of the reasons that made me to even step up to play to, to do this, I said, this guy can come from all the way, New Jersey, to come and do that for, for, for a cause, a librarian cause, it rather touched me. And I just want to tell you, thank you, you always step up to the play. And you said, give somebody the flowers for their life. I want to thank you for that. And as um, I want to thank all the delegates, and we're looking forward to seeing you on April 13th because you are the most important player in the game right now. So, we and I wanted the main thing I want to say um, um, to people because um, most people don't know this on the 13th is an all day event. Delegates have to be there from 8 to 2 p.m. So, please be prepared to please make plans to be there from 8 to 2. It's not one of those process where you just come and cast your vote and leave. You no, know, as a delegate, you have to come and register, and there's a certain time for registration, so you don't want to miss that registration period. I think it's from 8 to now, 8 to 9.30, so you want to be there early, register, and so you can be having and uh, have the opportunity for Thank you all. Thank you. Before you leave, uh, let me say this. I think, Russell, uh, this is the information you sent, right? Uh, can you talk to us about this? Yeah, I, I, I like the campaign manager talked about the because uh, he's in charge of the whole fundraising. That's you know um, effort. Uh, we just did some fundraising training today. <laughs> so, <it's, you> know. <laughs> oh my God, it's so expensive to to run a campaign. You have no idea um, how expensive. Even just to, to send up, just to create the the flyers, even to put the the flyer in the mails. We're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars, and we have really been behind on fundraising. I mean, I walk up and up, up and uh, the lady has raised over a hundred thousand dollars, and unfortunately, we have not even raised over maybe twelve thousand dollars. We are behind the ball on fundraising. We can you cannot really thousand dollars we raised. <laughs> We, yes, we, we are really way behind. You cannot win a, a race, a campaign with all money. It's just impossible because everything for money, the, the flyers, the advertisement, even to pay for some apps that we have to use. I mean, it's it's, it's too much. We went to the- Even though, even though pay spoon now, it's, it's too much. Exactly. So. Even the event we <laughs> had on, on <laughs> for the launching, it costs so much money and people don't understand. So tell us about the cash app now and the PayPal and the sales. We have it up here. We are accepting donations. We are pleading to you guys to please donate to the, 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 the campaign. We want at least $100 minimum. I know people say, oh, you back here, you want to, to, to tell us? Yes, because that's how we're going to make this thing happen. Please, minimum $100. We want more, $500. We have um, people that are donated $1,000. Please, you can donate for cash app. PayPal, Zill, a check and everything. We welcome all donations. So please let this, let's make this thing happen. Thank you. 
So let me say this, uh, we will put this up on Wednesday also, and I just got a text from Madam TT, you know, because if we have to help, this is the time we shoot. The cash app say dollar sign, when fret for house, or the phone number 612-283-1859, PayPal, www.paypal.com, and the rest of it, as you can see, the Zelda account, the number is 612 612- Two eight three one eight five nine. The account is Bank of America. If you want to go make a deposit, you want to go over to the bank, friend of Winfrey Russell. The account number is three seven four zero 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 four eight four three eight one. The check, if you want to just write a check, just the address, friends of Winfrey Russell, six three zero nine eighty fourth Court North Brooklyn Park, MN five five four four five. We're going to put this up also. I want to say, Nelson, can you come on, please? I know a lot of people follow. We have over half a million folks that follow Spoon. Nelson, are you there? All right. Nelson, can you take this and uh, put it on the page? We're going to run with this this Saturday. And uh, it's something that going straight to uh, the Russell campaign. So share it on our page. Keep it up there till Saturday. By God's grace, uh, those that will follow Spoon Talk International, that they can contribute. We want to say, folks, this is me. This is who I am. I'm a very simple guy. Okay, we don't have enough, but the Lord will provide. This is what we do. We have to do this because Liberia first. Regardless who you are, where you are from, we just want to say thank you for joining Spoon tonight. We appreciate you, Russell, man, as always. And I appreciate my little sister here. We came right for a long way, and uh, she's a good person, and I'm happy that she's on your campaign. So I want to say to all those in Minnesota, bravo to you guys, man. Bravo to you guys. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right. All right. Like, let, let's start dealing with, oh, uh, how you calling my man, could a great guy. <laughs> Where you got a guy from? Yeah. <laughs> I think you got a guy from? Uh, you know, uh, Santa, it, it took it took Judas for us to be Christian. I know. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. You know, Prophet Muhammad also uh, may uh, I, I don't know may may uh, peace be unto his name or so. But um, the thing about about life, it takes one bad event for for you to be popular. Let me Can say this. Go? Let me, I beg you, can agree. Uh, uh, this. I know Lady M. Morton, a very good, a very good person, a very good friend. We want to appreciate you. Uh, we'll put the account number up again. You can either send it to Cash App. She sent it twenty-five dollars. I want to say we acknowledge you again. We'll just put it up briefly while we're talking, all right? Because a lot of folks asking. You can send it if you want. It going not to us, going directly to the campaign. So we want to say to our sister uh, Morton, as always. Wilton well, is a very, 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 very religious, decent person. We appreciate you a lot. And thank you very much for your contribution, sis. Uh, so there you go. Everything up, there we have it. If you want to contribute, contribute to to, 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 to the campaign. We we'll keep it up a few, few seconds, and then we we'll continue to do this on Wednesday. It will be on our page. Find it on the spawn page. Everyone, if you want to send a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, it will help. It will help. Something about gonna grant. I really don't, you know, intend to cut you off. But let me just say this, so you can continue, please. Right. Trust me. Not any government official, every one of them that ever left Liberia to Minnesota, they got something to do with Russell. You can see the picture. Some way, somehow, he contributed to them. He welcomed them. He entertained them. He advised them. Seriously speaking. <laughs> and this is big. People just don't know. Sedition, unity party, independent. This guy is in everything. I think we should give him a shot. I think we should. I think we should. Go ahead, Conor Gray. No, you see, uh, that, that one caller that came. Firstly, people call your line. You don't know what they have to say. I, I, don't, I, I don't have control over that. But if you look at it positively, it was good. He made that statement. Well, I got to interrupt you again. I beg you. Let me say this. She said, if you can, do a minimum of $100. She take anything. She take your 20 She take your 25 
she will take anything. Okay, so Francis not saying that she doesn't want your five dollars and ten dollars. I beg you, she want anything. Give her dollar, she will take it. Give her fifty cent, she will take it. I even want to bring her back for her to make that correction set. All right, because again, she will take anything. But she yes. beg you, if you can yeah, do man. minimum, if you can do minimum of hundred dollars, that's what she's saying. She will appreciate you to please do minimum of hundred dollars. But I will bring her back for her to make this correction. Trust me, she will take anything from you. So Evelyn, Evelyn, don't start no problem yet. No way you late. <laughs> can I go because, I don't know can I go? You know, it's Ramadan. I just... the Ramadan, hold on, can we just get her then we close? We're rushing, Corinne, it's 8.30, you get nowhere else to go. I gotta go pray to the mosque, thank you. What time? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but you yes. always give me hard time, man. It's Teddy. I got your schedule. Where you get to go? Look at Teddy. Look at Teddy. Look at Teddy. Who's the schedule you got? Look at Teddy. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to Look at okay. I thought you told me I'm going to take advantage of the elderly. Now, why you got your schedule? Baby, you're pushing for her. She's got my schedule. How you going to get my schedule? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. That's the first grade. Save me a corner grade. I slip a toe. <laughs> I mess up my bed and remain quiet. I know, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because once you yeah. let it out, then it's going to be no, no, trouble and nerve. So no, that's, I mean, on the show, I get, I get on schedule on, on Spoon Talk. <laughs> I'm still talking, right? <laughs> you are your own. I'm on my own right now. Let me bring in Francis. Let us ask up. Can you make that correction? Like people saying that you don't want a twenty dollars because you oh, said no. <laughs> no, I did not say that. Thanks for bringing me back on to clarify. We will accept anything because everybody budget is, is different, but we still can aim high, right? It does just because you and we know um, people don't have it, but sometimes if you you just a thing big. Right, so we are thinking big. We know our people don't have um, much money, but I know some of them. They believe in this cause and they know that we really need this money. And they can dig a little deeper and and, and give at least a hundred dollars. But with with that being said, we will accept and appreciate any amount anybody can give. So please, Liberian people, I did not say uh, hundred dollars on it. It's the only money we're gonna take. I'm saying we appreciate if you can give at least a hundred dollars because of the amount of money. The, the the budget we have is so huge that it takes a lot to get there. So at least you know hundred dollars. But yes, we will appreciate anything that you can give. Thank you very much, man. And have a good night. Thanks. Thank you. Take care. All right, Fatima, go ahead, my sister. Well, I want to get some shout outs first before I go. Yesterday, my, my nephew, Momolu from Trenta, Momolu, du, Momolu Dole Dukli, he was honored by the city of Trenta for his work with the youth. And I was super proud. I attended the program yesterday in Trenton. And, you know, it was really nice. All the council people, the mayor, everybody was there. It was okay, so about that. I, 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 I was fully aware of you going there. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, and afterwards I went to my grandma's, Ma Fatu and Ma Hawa. I just want to say thank you for having me over for iftar yesterday. I ate in Trento. Shout out to my grandmothers in Trento. I have twin grandmothers, okay? I don't know if y'all know my mother's mothers and they have um, two aunties that you know we call grandma so they were in the in trenton shout out to them they always praying for us we had a big iftar where well, iftar is the break of the fast in trenton yesterday with the family the last thing is my i don't know if y'all know my cousin michael gray i sent a music to um uh ceo i think i i didn't know if i put it on a web on um in the chat room but i will he has made a new music called woo it's a cruise song he is the he is his, the chief of staff uh to Council McDonald Pin Jr. 
He has been very instrumental into all the Liberian people in New Jersey and around here, all of them with immigration uh, issues, with everything Michael Gray has been a part and puzzle of everyone's life in New Jersey. He, he you know, Councilman Donald P. Senior was all into Liberia during the war. He was one that was instrumental in helping us, you know, with the peace process, with the new governance, with the interim government, with the aid that went to Liberia. And his son has just continued on all of those things. And his and what my cousin Michael Gray happens to be his chief of staff. And so he he's a musician on the side. While he's working on his PhD, I think he's actually getting his PhD this year. But he's working on it and he made a beautiful song because he says see you always be singing thick crew song so he may see you a cool song he actually made that song it's very beautiful i sent it out but i just want to say to all of you um yeah thank you so much for watching i think i know uh when we come here like i said we talk about liberia it's liberia for all of us this is so she's speaking Siri today, oh. um, and i speaking syrian uh, okay, it's our country. You got to understand, I came here when I was 18. I speak standard English. I don't speak no, Siri. No, but I still don't say you can't speak Siri every day. I want to say that. I want to say that. Ah, thank you. Anyway, but uh, we come here every day. We do it for Liberia. It's only for Mama Liberia. I beg you. Y'all be first. Y'all be young. Sometimes I say I can be listening to that comment. While I was in Fatima, what are you like here? Now we still get our pack. So Lee, our, our senator, but they pack business. I said, okay, we just want to make sure before we will get packs. Pack is a good thing. Don't get me. Don't, don't, don't. I beg you. I'm not think say we don't want pack. But before we get pack, let's see who said, let our children be sitting on decent chairs in the classroom. Let's make sure our mind, our part in working to provide for the family. So you know what it means for a man to come home every day with all nothing. It, it, it brings disrespect in the family. The wife cannot afford, the husband cannot afford. Everybody just sitting now looking at each other. Create jobs for our people. That's all we ask. And I think the senator, if he understood, and he's going to take it back a notch. I'm, I beg you, see you. I don't know. The, uh, Michael Gray said he gave you permission to play this song. I know you don't want to play it for us. And see you. You feel it? I will ask you a question. Will you be able to you see how you, you, see, you, you see how she you see how she grew up. That's what she said. You see how she brought her tomb down uh, because she begged. You know, to beg. you know? I'm begging you to please pay my question. The man I that came to America at the age of one year old, that he said he can sing crew song better than me. The man that said that. The man that said that and beyond congressman, American congressman, that he, the man that know no more pattern life. Why can you let the, the audience be the judge? Can I play the song for the audience to be the judge? All right, so you're not going to break your fast again. I just wanted to play the song for the audience to be the judge. After, after, we do our I'm closing, let's do our after high school. Yeah, let's do our closing. And that, the man got whole. Have you seen the audience that's, that's an album. Old. The, act, the audience are asking Fatima, can you play the song, please? That is an album. In fact, the one, one of them, one of the songs there is called the Crew Song. Aha! Uh -huh. But that, that like three different Crew songs that were made. Just because they you, you sing it, the boss said you know how to sing Crew Song. He said he made it for you. Yeah. Because he said when you when you singing this Crew Song, you hey, hey, hey. Then you go sing it to the white man that you congress man for. <laughs> what it meant? Oh, that black man, man. That black, black man. man. Then you go sing it to the black man, the black American. Hey, play the song. I from like Play, play. Okay, thank you. Like on a great closing time, you used to play that song. I'm going to be mad at your cousin. Ah, thank you. Yeah, he must say. See, you won't play there. I was so you playing it today. Have you been a judge on the song? Fun. Thank you, see you for the first time. You sure? Yeah. He's holding it here. He can't believe it. He enjoyed the song.
Yes, it's on YouTube. It's called Wo W O O. Okay, we gotta we gotta stop it because we don't know whether it's copyright. All right. So we want to say it's a good song. We want to say thank you very much for playing his song. I really don't understand the song. I don't know how it's true. <laughs> No, I'm serious. As any crew person, one of the I bet you I see you feel you. Fatima, you can't speak with this. The man came and said, I'll see there where new country for. I'll see there where new country for. The man don't know what he's saying. I challenge him. What are you trying to say there? The man, the man is, the, listen, listen. The man got in one week vacation. He got nothing to do. He went in studio to make some. Man, I challenge him. I mean, on the OCD, when you go, I was thinking I saw to my mom and listen to you. I was thinking to my mom. I was sending it to you. Is that even clear? It's not even clear. If you sing it for people to understand the instrument, the instrument should be more than your, 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 no, I, I, because I know what he's trying to say. Why I know exactly say? what he's trying to I, I, Listen, I understand you very well. Look okay? at him. Call him on the show. Call him. Why are you trying to call say? I will not interpret his song for him. Call him. him. Yeah. Okay. I call, call him. him. I hear me, hear me, hear me. We say our pressure time. We can't. When you all sit there where you. What the? I'll sit there where you. Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. David, I'm calling no. you right now. Well, so, the song is written and the media repeating itself. He said, oh, what's this stuff? I'll see you there when you go on Jipo. That's somebody that like Lenny who wants to sing and do that. You repeating yourself. I'm sorry. Oh, man, you're man, you're man critiquing your song. I got my phone. Can you join the song? Come <laughs> with. The man, the man want to know. The man want to know the meaning of the song. I can't tell him. But, 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 but he's... You know, if you're taking the song, so go ahead oh, and introduce really? yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, 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 oh, yes, what a oh, call. Yeah. Yeah. So, my friend, my friend, my friend, what's your name? What's your name? What's your, name? What's your full name? Michael, Michael, hold on, hold on. Call, I mean, go back over your intro. Oh, okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Gray. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank uh, the uh, President and CEO of the establishment for allowing my music to be played uh, on the air. I'm very thankful. Thank you very much. Uh, so, do you want me to give you a little bit of information about the song? No, no, no. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Michael, your son is the worst son I've ever listened to. <laughs> That's not even true. He's enjoying the power. He's enjoying the song. Michael, don't mind lying. Well, when the uh, anime woman view. Uh, <laughs> but I can tell you the meaning of the song. Okay. No, no, no. I'm, not asking, for, no, I'm not asking for the meaning, Michael. Ma I, Ma Michael. I, I Michael. Still, I Michael. Michael. I think it's clear. Michael. Yes. Mike, 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 yeah. Mike, Mike, hold on, hold on. Michael, right. I beg you, I just listen to us. Bro. Michael, are you a crew man? Yes, I, I am from Green Crew County. Yes. Okay, so listen now. I beg you. Do you speak crew? Actually, my. My, I'll say so, yeah, because my, because my mother spoke crew and we responded in Michael, April, you, so, Michael, you, yeah. do you so speak crew? Michael, you, about, and, Michael, uh, Michael, 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 you, English, yeah. Michael, you, 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 do you speak crew? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, so let, so let's, so let's, so let's speak crew now. Let, let me know whether you the one actually singing that song. Let's speak crew. You ready? No, but I can sing a song for you. <laughs> no, because, because I'm telling people what I know. I, I, I know what I know. All right, sing this song. Sing this song, Michael. Okay. So okay, okay. So I'm I'm outside. So I, I'm I'm hoping that I'm 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 kind of audible enough. You clear? Enough. Okay. Sing the song or just uh say the words. No, sing it. Sing it. Sing it. I see there where noon when you fall. I see there where noon when you pull. I see young where do let you pull. I see there where noon when you pull. I see there where pink and you pull. I see there where noon when you pull. I see young where do let you pull. 
I'll see that when BPNG4. I said, Michael. Oh, 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 Okay. So Marco. 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 Yeah, are you speaking to me now, Bat? Marco Yeah, yeah, it's Ma, 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 Michael, we heard we heard what you were saying, not what you were singing. Okay. okay? We want to. <laughs> we heard, okay, Michael, we heard what you were singing. There were no ones you pull. I see no one but blue like you pull. I see there were no ones you pull. I'll blow one for it. I'll blow one for it. Okay. Yeah, the message, the message I get beamer. The message I get beamer. I'll blow one for it. Yeah, well, yeah. Thank you, Michael. Your son, your son is very, your son is very interested. It's a good son, though. Actually, I mean, it's meaningful. I want to say thank you. We enjoy apart from the joke. Congrats! And I, well, we're, listen, we're gonna play someday. Is it copyrighted? Can we play on on the show? Or you think you got to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, the song was written. The song was written by a, a friend of of, 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 of of mine. It's like a big brother. His name is Simenko Francis Wajira. So he actually wrote the song. And uh, it was, I mean, he wrote it when I was in Liberia doing like my early teens. And, uh, but I liked the song and I asked him to like uh, uh, produce the song and he gave me the authorization. And that is why I did the song. But, uh, but yeah, but actually, I'm the one I'm singing. And I, I, it's so unfortunate that I'm. The message, the message, the message is, the message, Michael, you see the reason why I don't like this song, right? You are talking to me. You say, I don't know how to cook. I don't know. I get big more. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything. You see, you see all this thing. I don't get shame. Then you want me to say I like your song, but man, <laughs> for my end, that but song I get that song. Actually, right? Actually, like the meaning of the song, I know the song is not referring to you because you are very dedicated and uh, in that song, that song, that song. That song I get that song. That song I get that song. So it doesn't refer to you, but you know, like. Yeah, like the song is saying that uh, the person don't doesn't know anything, can cook, uh, doesn't know how to speak to people, very rude, uh, but has a, but, but, but has like a big mouth, has a big mouth, and the song is actually saying that uh, if you don't know anything, I mean, it is always good to like learn something. It will be like a uh, a job or education, because because uh, it is very much important to. To help you to propel in life and propel yourself in life, and also mm -hmm. the meaning of the song is that look, a job is a job. It doesn't matter if the job is a big job or a small job. As long as that job uh, provides uh, living for you and your family, that is a job. So um, yeah, so the song and actually I'm trying to promote Liberia's culture, just like the way you I did well, though. You did well, Michael. Thank you very much, Brad. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah, did it. Like, yeah, I've done it from the political arena through through my through my boss's father, the late congressman Donald Payne Sr. and Donald Payne Jr. So yeah. Thank but, you very much, Thank you. But seriously, I'm serious, seriously, seriously, I'm caught on the way because I'm because I'm I'm actually act outside on the street and I thought Remy was just calling for something else. I, I wish it was more planned for me to be you know, to, to elaborate a little bit more. But seriously, uh, Mr. Spoon, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity, but I am trying to promote Liberia's course. Because <laughs> most of Thank my you. friends, like, love the song, and and none of them under, understand the language crew. But it's a good thing that it's a Liberian song, it's an African song, you know, and so I think... I'm very thankful for you giving me the opportunity to be able to promote our culture and our own culture, especially, and most especially. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We appreciate right. you. You're welcome, you're welcome yeah. sir. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Have a good day, everyone. So please, please download the song, you know, um, and let's promote Liberia, because Liberia is one of the greatest countries in the world, and, and we all can learn so much from that beautiful and great country. So thank you very much, and have a blessed, blessed evening. Thank you. Love you, Michael. Love you, cousin. <laughs>
I love you, Conor Gray. Because Conor Gray. Are you a B? Are you a B? Are you for a great crew you call you to fight? If you I do But folks, we want to say thank you as always for joining. Right, thank you with us. Right, my brother. <laughs> thank you for joining with uh, joining us, man. We appreciate you today. You've been very, very unique to all of our followers. Thank you. Tomorrow is God can bless anybody. And to those that continue to contribute to God can bless anybody, we say thank you. We would appreciate you. A lot of people receiving ten dollars, fifteen dollars is all because of you. We'll be back again tomorrow to share the goodness of the charity. Thank you very much, Glenn and Jim Juniors, for Tima. Thank you very much, Gunnar Gray. Uh, the information came up that President Jose Yuma Barker have put out executive order investigation into rubber processing. Uh, we discussed that on Monday, but it's up. It's on the Eman Show website on Facebook. Check it out. We want to say half for wonderful evening and may god bless you may god keep you fatima so you're going to go break your fast and yeah. you'll be back by time i gotta go break my back. fast after i break my fast i go to the mass because yesterday yeah. was the night of power and what time you leave the mouth yeah. okay papa the night of power yesterday in islamic in our islamic tradition in month of ramadan yesterday was the night of power because in gathering yesterday was a night of power so we slept in the mass we did everything in the mass we pray we ask god for forgiveness last night and so it was the night of power. So that was the best. It's better than a, a, a thousand years. That's what it said. So we did yesterday was the night of power. So today we're just waiting for Tuesday. And then Ramadan will be over. But as for me, because in the beginning of the Ramadan, I was sick, Landy. You know I got to carry it. Seven to ten more days. So, yeah. But, yeah, y'all, thank you for all the support. Viewers, shout out to the viewers. I'll be reading their comments. I'll be laughing. They'll be this in me, Fatima. But somebody want today. Somebody want gave me shout. They say Fatima, yeah. Thank you for asking that question. Thank you. So the viewers, y'all make us, y'all hold us accountable. Y'all let us keep doing what we do. Thank you, guys. See you. I gotta go. Okay, Papa. Papa, can I leave now? Yeah, please go. And don't okay, forget, Papa. You got you got curfew. Don't forget. Don't tell one minute after. Okay. If I like that though, you will not come in. Please. I mean, you have to go. Sleep. You have to go sleep to your empty place. Oh, Grace, I'm going to declare my answer or CEO. I cannot answer how I would declare it. Now. Bye bye. I'll see you guys. Good night. Good night. Bye, Grace. 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 Bye, by that, that's the that, that first statement made by by we what's the guy's name? What's his name? Who we said, yeah, Amos, yeah, it must we said. Did he call from Minnesota? Uh, I'm assuming he had a 763 number. Oh, okay, so well, I can, I can look, I can, I can follow this now. His number, no, listen, man, the man, the man can say what he wants to say. That's his yeah. thing, you know, this yeah. is a miracle, nobody should be on it. That's, that's what I know all about. Yeah. yeah, that's his thing. I'm ready for me. I read it seriously, could agree. Yeah. Uh, he said that a lot of people disagree with him. Fine. Yeah. Everybody perform. Those yeah. that Russell can convince and take them over there, he will convince and he will take them. It takes, it takes one event for somebody to get on the. On yeah. The so. And, and, and to tell you the truth, I, I just hope that everybody can understand this is not about Russell. Yeah. It's about putting Liberia back on the map. And uh, imagine Congressman Russell. Then they're talking about Liberia and sanction and benefit us to go to Liberia. It will be Russell there footing for Liberia. Mm -hmm. Benefit us also to go to West Africa. Russell will put him up and say, my country first. And that's what we need to do. We need to understand it's not about Russell, man. It's about every good thing that will come thereafter for Liberia. So we hope people understand. And that's my take. I want to say thank you, Colonel Gray. 
Yeah. Uh, our brother, little brother Nelson Colesso, will be doing his show. Nelson. Yeah, the other time we held, we held the show, man, so we can't do it tonight. Yeah, I don't want to do it. That's who you got tonight. Have a good weekend, man. Um, so tonight we we we're going to discuss some national issues, but the 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 recent comment made by um the LDEA boss uh, Colonel A. B. Kruma that uh, due to what's going on at the borders you know some of the the, the very action he's uh, intending to take withdraw some of his men from the borders based on um actions from some of the joint security we'll look at that plus a lot more we have um a security expert uh who will come in to weigh in his thoughts on that particular issue plus other issues we have as well the executive order <clears throat> And a lot of other issues we'll talk about tonight. Okay. All right. That's what I mean. We here. Thank you very much. Uh have a good, have a good, have a good one. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Bye bye. Okay. So um yeah, folks out there, we want to say thanks to all of you here, uh, for all of you for being here with us tonight. Um, thanks for making your contribution on the show. Thanks for calling in. We appreciate every single person who called in tonight thanks to those of you who just sat by the radio playing the listening role we appreciate you um it's because of you that we're here every single night making sure that um we do what we do thanks to our folks in radio land and as you know we are always here streaming live across the in, uh, across the country on several frequencies um we're always live on spoon fm 107.5 um we're live on a Fabric FM 101.1 and Super FM uh, 95.5. Thanks to all of you who have been joining us from there. Thanks to the partner radio stations across Liberia as well that I always relay in the show. And uh, we have um, Gibi FM in Kakatama, Gibi County. Thanks to Trust FM in uh, Bombing County. Thanks to Trend Radio in 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 Grand Cru County, and of course, uh, the host of other radio stations that sometimes relay the program even without telling us. We appreciate all of you. Yes, thanks to our online audience. We are always streaming live across the internet, uh, Spoon TV on Facebook, uh, Fabric TV on Facebook, and Super TV. Thanks to you for following. Uh, thanks to our folks on YouTube as well. The YouTube handle is Spoon Talk Live. Thanks to everyone who have been following from YouTube tonight. Uh, the invitation is yours to join us on Monday for another great show. A fascinating edition of uh, Spoon Talk will be back on your radio. But until then, um, you can join us tomorrow for the program God Can Bless Anybody. It's going to be a great show, fascinating one. Um, Liberians across the country will be um, winning some prizes, answering some very simple questions. Uh, God Can Bless Anybody is that platform that puts smiles on the faces of Liberians across the country every Sunday, at least giving you something to start the week with, $10 each, the minimum of $10. So you go on your side, you can win more than $10. So God Can Bless Anybody. Once you get through the lines, you're going to have the opportunity to win some of uh, those cash giveaways that will be here tomorrow. You can also join us tonight on the Late Night Show. The Late Night Politics on Spoon is coming up in a couple of minutes from now. Until then, have a good night. Just before we go, uh, let me say happy birthday to uh, little Jefferson uh, Takwa. He was born on uh, April 6, uh, 2014. Uh, his father is saying he joins the rest of the family to say happy, blessed birthday to his special son, Jefferson uh, Takwa. And uh, he is wishing him all the very best, good health, long life as he celebrates his 10th birthday today. Uh, that's you, little Jefferson. Uh, uh, that's you, Je little Jefferson uh, Takpo. And uh, your father is wishing you happy birthday. Takpo is wishing you happy birthday. Senior is wishing you happy birthday as you celebrate your birthday today. So folks, they will come away again. Have a good night. And you can make up uh, time to join us on the Late Night Show shortly. Bye-bye for now.
design, a special one from the CEO stand coming with the spoon. And your boy, Friday the South Bend, charging.